Welcome to another episode of The Flank. It's been a little while, but we're back. I'm joined by Patrick Price, a.k.a. Yakes. We got Chris Duarte, a.k.a. Parasite, of course. The one and only Mr. Benji Nassim. <laughs> Gentlemen, how we feeling today? We also got... Uh, a couple special guests, man. We got Hitch and Blake from Team Summertime, from Optic, whatever you want to call them. How's everybody doing, man? Everybody doing good? Oh, we're good. Oh, love we're that. good. Love that. Absolutely love that. What's going on with you, Pat? How's everything going at X Defiant? Uh, everything's great, Tom. Everything's great. Just a typical Tuesday. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen your faces. Yeah, no, it's been a long time, and uh, it's good to be back. It feels good. I'm excited to get the show on the road. Chris, how you feeling, Chris? You doing all right over there, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. Just uh, having some uh, MW2 beta withdrawals. It was actually... Yeah, it was fun, great. dude. I had a lot of criticisms, but overall, gameplay was fun. I definitely enjoyed it more than the Vanguard beta. Yeah, we're going to get right into it. Just, Ben, it'd be, it'd be anything you want to say before we kick it off? I know your microphone yeah. was giving you some problems. Yeah, I was listening to my mic before the show, so we're, we're switching the Ashra to, to sorry if the quality is kind of out. But I agree with Chris. Like, I'm a little bit of MW2 beta with Charles. I was having a lot of fun this weekend uh, playing Hardpoint. It's sad that it's done, and we're going to have to wait, what is it, like three or four weeks now for the game to release? So Yeah. Mm -hmm. gonna yeah. little, it's going to be a minute. You know, the MW2 beta, I, I thought was a lot of fun. I know, Chris, you you thought that there's just a lot of things that you, you know, probably nitpicking a little bit or things that you want to change. I mean, what what are some things right off the bat that you just want to get into? Let's talk about the beta a little bit. I had fun. I missed the beta, bro. There's nothing to do without the beta, man. I mean, we, we all miss it. But what did yeah. you think? Uh, well, I know a lot of people have, like, glaring issues that, you know, the competitive community wants change, but I'm going to be realistic here and say that some of those will not get fixed. For example, Dead Silence is a perk. Yeah, chalk that up. Um, That's my terrible, by the way. Yeah, That's terrible. My, my main quarrels with this game, and I think things that they could easily fix, is just getting rid of these, like, long animations for calling in stuff. Like, okay, I, I don't care that I got to earn Dead Silence. I did with it in MW, but when I have to call it in, why, why do I have to, like, get taken out of the game um, to call in my Dead Silence? Same with, um, have you guys did, when you guys put on streaks did you guys use a uav and a counter uav you pretty much earn those back to back right mm. now imagine this you spawn up you want to call them both you're sitting there for 10 seconds yeah. with the you call it up yeah you sit there put for it a down. while <laughs> call it in put it down again all right now i gotta pop dead signs you do it again like bro it's probably the it's the most infuriating thing in the world that's like my biggest issue with the game right now outside of like the things that are definitely never going to get changed. Well, what's funny is they even tu they turned Wait, down muted, the Mike, animation. Muted. Oh, muted, uh... I hear him. No, I hear him. I oh, hear you do hear him? Yeah, oh, I hear him. No, you're good. Sorry, sorry, never mind, never mind. You're good. Go I, ahead, Blake. Uh, they they changed the animation from COD Next to uh -huh. the beta. Really? They did? Yeah. yeah. They? Because you used to like we call it dead silence radio because you literally just pull it out of your pocket. It looks like a little pocket radio, but you used to have to twist that thing in the middle. And now you literally just bring it out and tap it. <laughs> but what's it, it, people still had a problem with this one, and at COD Next it was even longer, which is crazy. Holy, yeah, yeah they it's, nerfed it's like it. A, it's like a little clunky, and it takes a little while. Even trying to pick what streak you want to call, like the whole the whole way they do it, it's just a little weird. But um, I was running the Juggernaut streak. That was my favorite. That thing is OP as fuck. I don't know if you guys tried the Juggernaut streak out, but holy nah, shit, I didn't use that, one. that thing was insane. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I don't. I don't share that opinion at all. I think this was one of the more miserable casual experiences I've had playing Call of Duty in a long time. Um, to me, this just doesn't feel like COD. And I know this has been like the route COD's gone over the last few years, but um, yeah, I did not have a good time at all. I know I was a obviously a, a you know a pro player, but like the the, the skill based matchmaking just made it almost unbearable to enjoy. Um, which I know that's for sure not going to change. And then to me, it just, it feels like they made the game how the old games hardcore used to be. The TTKs are instant. It's like you're promoted for camping. There's no UI to show players. There's no name tags. Play Like just the level of skill gap has been diminished so low that it's like, it's honestly ridiculous. And, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not even here advocating for like the competitive uh view because that's that's not what i'm my opinions catered toward it's the casual view it's not fun anymore to me at all and and it's like that to me is really sad to see i've obviously played cod for 15 years so i've seen every title in existence and obviously there has to be some you know level of uh evolution and 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 things get to be new and, and different but i think they're just you know reinventing the wheel on things that shouldn't change uh to me call of duty no longer feels like a arena arcade shooter experience it's it's very hardcore now with this feeling i mean you kind of get this with 
you know, level of footstep and a level of realism that they kind of applied to this title. Um, and so to me, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like COD, at least not the COD that I preferred and loved. Um, and it just feels more like a, a battlefield Tarkov experience in 6v6 multiplayer maps. So. There, there are so many things, Pat, that I don't agree with in this game. But if they ha were in other games, for example, I wouldn't mind them. So, for example, no red dots on the mini map. Terrible fucking idea, first off, right? But it wouldn't be as bad if the maps were less cluttered and like imagine like playing raid with like no red dots on the main map it's it'd be fine like you would still know where everyone is you could pretty much print pinpoint precisely where everybody is but you play some of these maps without red dots and you're like well he's somewhere over there i have no idea and it's like impossible um to kind of like understand that and then on top of that um for another 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 example would be the no name tag the no name tags over people's heads i wouldn't mind that if the visuals were really clear but you don't get that experience in this game people can hide in bushes people can hide in dead bodies and it's impossible to see um i know a lot of people i'm, I'm not saying those are good ideas but there's certain things that this game applies that wouldn't be would would be bearable in other games that are just unbearable in this type of game yeah i, mean, I wanted to get y'all's take on the name tags thing because like uh, i understand like not wanting to just have a name because i mean that was half my gripe with vanguard was like I just shot diamonds, bro. I never saw a single person. I literally just shot at a red diamond all year. Yeah, but the name yeah, thing is the a visibility weird. was so trash. So I was wondering yeah. what you what you guys think they're gonna do for that. I was wondering if they're gonna like Valor in it and like have a red outline around everybody. They said I think in the recent so they just came out with a post. I think it might have been today where it was like beta feedback from this week. And they basically said that they weren't going to uh, they weren't going to add names back. They were going to try to improve the visibility in other ways. So just maybe like less uh, maybe muzzle flash, less screen shake. I don't know what they plan to do if they plan to do anything. Obviously, this is a no offense to uh, other Call of Duty developers, but Infinity Ward uh, we're dealing with. And these guys basically are like, yeah, we hear you, but we don't give a fuck. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what they plan to do, but it's just I I'm not a fan of it because, like I said, maps are super cluttered. Um there's a lot of like little like hiding spots, dark corners um, where it's Im damn near impossible to see a person. I mean, do you guys think they're going to even make changes like that? I mean, I don't even I don't think, think they're, they're going to make Yeah, I don't think they're going to change anything. Shit, yeah, I don't think no. so either. They never I, I do. Think, I, I think you'll see shit. small balancing. You'll see I some small balancing, but there'll be no good the big changes. System. With how fast you earn it now, they literally like ruined their own idea. You get your four perks in round three of S&D now. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the dead silence is also a big problem too i know you mentioned it already uh, yeah, Chris, i mean but... i got a laundry list of things i would like to change but like it, I, it is I, weird to see I, them already backstep so far on the perks i would love to not give up on the on the dead silence dream because i i i genuinely think that you know vanguard was supposed to release without Va dead silence and they added it what three days before the game came out or something like yep. that mm -hmm. and, and left it as a field upgrade yeah but it literally like like that saved vanguard i mean it was in my opinion i can't imagine what the pros what it would be like as an experience playing 4v4 hard point with no dead silence on you know berlin like you would be able to sit in a corner and know exactly where everyone is rotating and exactly like yeah anyone's like routes on the on the map did they add know. a perk i see people in the chat saying that there's they added it is that true i don't i, I don't remember what do you mean perk. I don't know. I saw a few people in the chat saying they added in a perk. A couple of people out of me they said, well, well they in terms in. of like, I mean, ninja, it, I mean ninja, maybe is, just a departure ninja. from the ninja. Nah, I mean, like, maybe just a departure from the no, three perk I don't system. Know the real post, Tom. Oh, okay. I just saw a few people were adding me to saying that uh, the, yeah. it was a troll. Okay, nah, we're getting trolled here. Because uh, I was gonna say if they added that, that'd be fire. But I just I don't remember. I don't remember that shit because I was I played the beta. You know, like I played it and. Yeah. I was just, I, I just personally, right off the rip, when we played it at the COD Next event, event and I saw the, the field up upgrade, Dead Silence, right off the rip, I said, oh, shit, here we go again. Here we go you again. It's like, uh, like, if you look at it from both a playing and watching perspective, it just, like, kind of messes with the flow of gameplay, especially in S&D, because you're basically just waiting there to be able to be able to use Dead Silence instead of having it off the break, and so, like... I think I, we all agree we'd love to see it as a perk or not and hope that they sort of rethink it, but I agree with you guys at all like i think a lot of these issues the the red dots on the mini map uh this that and that like i don't think we're gonna get a lot of changes before the game launch now hopefully with 
more of a two-year cycle, like especially if, you know, game uh, gameplay and like uh, population on the game is not as high, they're more willing to make major changes. But, you know, as we've seen in the past with Infinity Ward, sometimes they're really able, they really kind of stick to their guns even when oh, this, the community this, goes either way. This game is going to bang. In my so? opinion. You think so, Dave? Yeah, gonna, uh, okay, be, okay from what metric? In the, social, in the social, casual, extremely casual setting, especially with, with combining ground war and all this all this other shit that they're adding. I mean, Modern Warfare 2019 bang. And yeah. it, we True. might hate it, but people have been playing that for the last three years. People didn't play Vanguard at all. People didn't play uh, Cold War at all. But I mean, I mean this but is the, the highest game, played COD beta ever. Yeah, it was the highest pl played COD beta that. ever, the most amount of people that have played it. And you know, and I've seen MW clips all over the fucking TikTok, all over Instagram, uh, just from casual people. And so, uh, I mean, from the casual aspect, I think it's going to fucking bang, which you sucks. Well, I mean, I agree with you. you <laughs> we one was, thing we haven't, <laughs> we haven't mentioned so far, which is like... It's the same thing with Model for 19. Yeah. Exactly. Compared to Modern Warfare 2019, the Vanguard beta, like I feel like the maps that we had in this beta, outside of you know, strong thoughts about Museum, actually like played pretty good, especially when Hardpoint came out. Like I enjoyed Hardpoint on three of the four maps. I don't know how y'all felt uh, in that and SND, but like they were pretty horrible. The beta then. maps were. I think there was one. Bad. I think there was one decent map for Hardpoint, and it was the I hotel did. map. I the I other think, ones I were. I think they're some uh, of the best Mercado. maps they've given us in a beta. Yeah. Granted, I don't think we'll see a lot of them throughout the year, but as far as beta maps go. I think it was fine. I agree with you, Chris. I think Mercado to me, I, I'm putting on a video today. Like, like fun map might be way too small for. It's too. Point. It's too small. Yeah. It's uh, too narrow. Way too fucking narrow. And then, um, so here's a here's a weird. This is a not a weird take, but this is something that I actually just read on Reddit today. But I, I it completely slipped my mind because I forgot about it. Was they're adding a map editor apparently where you can like and it's like very simplified apparently it's not super complex but apparently you can add spawns um you can might be able to cut like you might actually be able to cut the boundaries of a map so let's say for example museum mm -hmm. museum has a lot museum in my in my opinion isn't that bad but there's a lot of excess fat kind of like how moscow sure. had a lot i feel like if that's actually a thing where we can cut some of the maps out cut some of the excess from some of these bigger maps it might not play it might not play that bad how do we do it, that it Chris? could play in our favor i think there's supposed to be an editor in the game like oh, a simplified really? like, editor like hey, oh yeah they talked yeah. about that but i just i don't know how advanced it's gonna be you know yeah. like like forge with halo you can le legit make maps C couldn't you like you could make the map however you, you wanted it make games and i mean some of the stuff we've seen for forge like in terms of the scripting that's coming out in this mode like you can even take it farther than that i don't think cod is there but to chris's point like one of the biggest issues we've had for a long time in some of these maps is is spawns and being able to even make that level of change like improves playability by a large percentage on some of these maps yeah Bro, we, we might I'll get to honest. a point where we're doing their job for them I, I, yeah. I know it was a beta but the spawns were terrible but i i had they a, were the worst i've very, ever seen i was very frustrated with the spawns they were legit the worst i've ever Ooh. seen from I'm, any college wait wait player. wait i will say i will say though pat um on dom they were terrible on hard point the, on some of the, like, the, the, the on some on some of the bigger maps um they were a lot stickier like i still like for example that mu that museum map like bro the the spawns were actually like super sticky like once you like had your initial spawn it was pretty much consistent unless you actually like flooded and tried to flip um some of those bigger maps but like for example like farm the farm map terrible spawns the market map terrible spawns but they were actually pretty sticky um and real quick outside of that stuff, when we were talking about the casual perspective, because I didn't, I wanted to touch on this before we moved on um, from that hitch. You were saying how the casuals are going to love this game. And we're talking about the casuals of casuals. We're not talking about the the, no. the casual, the Nobody, casual, like, no, if you have a Twitter, guy. you don't count as a casual. Yeah, you don't exactly. have, if you have Reddit, you don't count as a casual. No. Um, but what I'm Nobody saying is, listening to this. this is the issue with Call of Duty nowadays and SBMM. All of the issues in this game are amplified when you are having the good players abuse it. And I and I don't even mean just pros. I mean like the sweaty fucking competitive yeah. players. We're playing two different games, bro. Like That's there's true. clips out there of people um, sneaking up behind people without dead silence, literally stomping around and the guys aren't even turning around. Like we're playing two different games where we where we're, we're the balancing and stuff like that, the mess of uh, the perks and all that stuff isn't being abused to the nature to ruin the game for some of these other players. 
Like, I think that's probably one of the biggest issues that well, I think that's the SBMM see, system comes comes into play for balancing that's why you the see game. So many like pol polarizing opinions. Like, it's literally the game is great or the game is terrible, and it literally depends on what Bobby's gameplay experience. Yeah, yeah, they're having like, bro, like if you saw that exclusive age clip, like he was literally on a bot account, like a account that he just intentionally deranked, and like those players didn't even feel real. And to be honest, I'm not even convinced they are real players down at that level. Like I, I would not be surprised if at that level of skill-based matchmaking, 50% or more of those players in that lobby are actual AI, like our literal bots. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not kidding, bro. There, there came out like an article a year ago about like one of the um, uh, patents Activision has like surrounding like how they handle bots in their games. Like, dude, it's probably true. Like, there's players that are just so bad. They're playing against bots, and they're experiencing just a totally different multiplayer, like a completely different multiplayer. They did. They are, like JP said in the chat, they have been experiencing uh, uh, with this AI shit, man. They really like these these AI bots. They, they love, love that shit. Them. I don't know why. I don't know why they, they're, like, so into it. it God, might, do you... You want to you know what it is? Sorry, keep going. No, I was going to say, Davis, I think what it is, Davis, is it's like hard to like code that shit. So they're proud of it type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like they like the fish from ghosts, you know, but what are you, what were you going to say, Davis? Go ahead. <laughs> um, do you, so do you remember, like, do you, how, who did you play Wars, Warzone 2 with? Warzone like, 2? When, I was we playing, I thing. was playing with Porter and Zinni. That's who I was playing with when, when we were playing Warzone. Were do you remember how many fucking It was terrible. Bots? It was terrible. Tom, Tom died to a bot. Tom died to a bot. I got shot in the back. I got shot in the back, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? OP, I'm Zinni died trying. three times to a bot. Zinni died three times. Oh, wait, no, he did not. Yeah, he did. He died three times to a bot. Three times. I mean, to be man, fair, Davis, they were better. everywhere. There was bots Dude. everywhere. They, they, they were all over the place. They are in every single building. Uh, Sometimes <laughs> to a building. Deadass. If you go into a building, there's a I died to a bot once. I no, died to a bot once. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. It was two, 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 three bots. And that's because I was triangulated by a squad of bots. They had no, they three were everywhere. Groups they were everywhere. On three different buildings, and I was triangulated. No, no, it's it true. The they, were, they were everywhere. They were actually all oh, over the map. triangulated. Hey, no, no one would piss me off when a bot, whenever a bot came out of nowhere and I thought it was a player, I'd get fucking twisted and I'd crack, on, I, I'd crack him onto yeah. the bot and then i just kill the bot. I'm like, well, that's there's a waste of ammo. Like, there's a waste of right. energy. I literally just snapped onto an AI. You I, know, and they I, keep coming I, out of nowhere. I don't know why they are so obsessed with, with bots in this game, but I, I personally believe somebody over at uh, Infinity Ward or, or Activision just played a shit ton of Tarkov. I think somebody played a shit ton of Tarkov and they were like, people like Tarkov because they like the scavs and they like going against scavs and and, uh, and looting them and they're trying to do this whole DMZ thing and so they, they just went like, like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, think it's, I think it's even bigger. Like if you look at, if you think about like the Call of Duty experience in general and sort of the fraud of all the different things that are coming out this year, like they're trying to blanket the market of different shooter experiences across like the new game uh, Warzone 2, their mobile product, and just make a game for everyone. And you can't blame them for the doing so. Time. That's thing? the, I mean, that's the hard part that we're always going to face is we are the 0.5% competitive community and yeah. they are always going to uh, cater to 99.5% of their player base. And how can you even blame them for it? We will always be forced to try and change the game, whether it be gentlemen's agreements or asking them for changes, because the game is simply not like other games. It's not an eSport game. It's a casual game that has a good eSport. But, but, Zin, but Zin, here's the, the problem. Point, here's the problem. It's it always is, been. It's literally always correct. been that since the start of time the problem exactly. i have now is they're going so much further in that direction it's not even funny like well, well, COD, COD is always, said, right? bro they're even bo2 to, even they're BO2, trying to bring everybody to call casual it. game bo2 is just as much a casual game in any call of duty as ever yeah. but like they're, they're literally just pushing the limit and going like as far, removing skill gap all the way and just getting to the point where everybody can get a kill like, bro, this reload thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. I understand the, the reload thing for realism, where as soon as you, like, detach your magazine, you can't cancel that reload. I, I understand that. But from an arcade arena shooter, all that means is that at any time, if you reload for how many ever seconds your reload time is, you are potentially just a death. Like, you are going to get punished for reloading.
Yeah, the reload thing is confusing no, because uh, but I don't even think casual little is really features like, like cancel. Yeah, no, but there's reload. a lot of little features like that where it's just like remove, remove, remove anything that's skill gap related and just, hey, like we want players to get free kills. Like Chris brought up the animation thing. Like when you call in a UAV, it's literally a, a UAV counter UAV. If you just call both in, it's double the time in animation time spent yeah. than it ever has been in the past. Like, they're just adding so much to where it's just like they're slowing we, it we down, Pat. The, They're slowing it down. Yeah, we want the casual community to be better, but yeah. it's like their yeah. experience in their games aren't even remotely the same when you when you look at like not even competitive players, just any like above average you know player. I feel like the players I are going against in the beta were above average, but it's like the game is to the point where it's like anybody can be good, and, and that's that's the biggest problem I have. Yeah, they went out of their way to make it like realistic, like like somewhat believable. Like for even the dead silence thing, like I wouldn't doubt if the reason behind that change in terms of the animation is just to like add like quote unquote realism to it in terms of like you're actually doing something to activate it for like not just like oh popping it out of thin air. Like they 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 just artificially made every sort of this every part of this game have some sort of like realism to it, have some sort of like almost like backstory behind like how this is like accomplished in game. It's actually like, for example, the, the reload thing. I don't know if you guys know this, you can cancel it all the way up until the magazine actually comes out of your gun. So like if you pop it and then immediately cancel it, you're good. Yep. But if as soon as your magazine comes out of your gun, your character is just like, uh, can't do it anymore. You're they, just a they, walking, uh, you're a walking target until you finish. Yeah. But to yeah. touch on what Davis said though, like, like MW2019 is the best example. It, it got a lot of criti uh, criticism from like the competitive community. <laughs> People fucking loved that game. So it doesn't matter because they have all this data of casual players and what they like and if they're getting more kills and how long they're staying on the game. So at some level, there has to be actual reasons for all of these changes. Otherwise, they well, wouldn't do them. I mean, I at the end of the day, I'd rather see this game than Vanguard yeah, for what it's worth. The biggest one for me that I would love to know, like off the Agreed. record, the design decision is the red dots on the mini map because I feel like that doesn't benefit anyone. And they're, well, they're I think that's a, I, you think that's well, no. a problem. What I think that's the least is, of our problems, it, to be that honest. Definitely no, no, it's, it's it definitely benefits bad well, players. It's a problem. Well, it, 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 it does, part but why it's Dom a little so campy because it feels a little counterintuitive, doesn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I'll hop out here soon. No, but no, like, no, you're good, don't you? The, the, the loud footsteps and the no red dots seem counterintuitive. Because it's like, if you want people to go hunting for players and not feel like yeah. them shooting is going to get them hunted, you would want uh, quieter footsteps so those players can Have more roam of a freely, move. no? But like, it, it, it just seems like those two things in particular, like the minimap and the, the footstep sounds, are just counterintuitive well, I, one another the, the biggest thing for me is going to be the maps i mean we we we've got a few I, I mean i don't know what you guys thought about all the maps in the beta i thought a couple of them were all right um but i, I definitely think the maps are going to be the most important part when you have good when you have good maps i mean that it, it that's how the game that's where you can tell if the game's going to play out good or bad when you have good maps and we have how many how many to choose from chris six sixteen did they say? I think they said Apparently, 16 yeah, in total. 16, 16 at launch, they so said. So there's a lot of maps there to choose from. So hopefully we could get wait, a, wait, you know, a good 16, amount. 16, 6v6 maps? I, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. guessing, oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe they said the, the pro either the multiplayer or... That's another problem, Pat, in itself. But making maps for 6v6 instead of 4v4. Yeah, yeah. well, you know? that, that's another thing. Some of the 6v6 maps, like, nowadays, like, 6v6 maps can be massive. Like, massive. you know what I mean? Like, like, like we talk about 6v6 maps, and I think, like, let's talk about, like, let's use Raid as a comparison, right? Like, it's really popular when there's Raid. Like, the size of Raid is, like, an ideal um, just arena shooter map, right? But, like, when you talk about, when you compare that to a map like Museum or um, even the hotel map, like on a scale, those maps are literally twice, if not three times the size. So yeah. it's like, yeah, there might be 16, 6v6 six six maps, but, but bro, they could be... They could, like, you know, look, half could be just irrelevant and, and because they don't even exist. That is where... That is where... Six six. That is where the the editor, if if actually is a thing, and how intuitive it is, um, comes into play. For example, if you are able to barricade off parts of the map, yeah, great. It'd be that will save, that'll make that things a lot easier. Chris, even even if that's a thing, bro, it's not being it's not going to be at launch. It'll be maybe a year, like a year in. Like I mean, we, we don't know, but yeah, I mean, probably not. I mean, if we I mean, bro, you're the second year of this game. We, that's a we, we know rank right? play is not even going to be in yeah, it. Rank launch. play so you, won't be like, you think You think yeah. a map editor is going to be like before that? I, I will say, we, though, we, we have two years of this game, though, so if we can at least get it through the halfway point or for the second year so we can either improve some of these, because God forbid, by the way, if we don't get 
new content uh, by the end of year one, and we got to play the same maps for year two. And if they're mediocre, we're going to be real. No, nah, with the two-year cycle, like, surely there's so got to be a plan to like, yeah, obviously add what, new content. I will say, Davis, go ahead, you beautiful bastard. Go what ahead. Do you, what do you guys think? Since we've already seen that in custom games, they've added the at you know add uh, red dots on the mini map little option. So we're 100 percent competitive side. We're going to be playing with that on for sure. Yeah. But what what do you guys think about just adding a fucking button that says silent like silent, silent footsteps, footsteps enabled, enabled or disabled I, I think that would be incredible i think i think it would be awesome one, th one thing that i mean it literally just flip the switch that's all that i mean like setting that point, you're talking about like a like, setting like, yeah, you, you setting, know yeah, yeah. A setting in the game right because one thing that we're kind of forgetting about is the only game without loud with with this loud of footsteps and, and there's not even an option to run dead silence has been mw19 it was 5v5 on domination and hard point and now I, from the leaks we're we're seeing that it's going to be control and i feel like control if you get four down you sit in a corner and, <laughs> like how the, how the fuck are they going to get out of spawn yeah. like it's literally you're going to sit in a corner and listen to people i will get out of spawn run <laughs> you don't leave spawn <laughs> in the first place no no and don't me. gas it up either. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Just don't gas it up either. either. Yeah, let's, let's put some respect on Boston. But no, the, the, um, go ahead. sorry. I was thinking about something in bed, and it's like, okay, so obviously the goal is to mitigate differences between casual and competitive as much as possible to try and bridge the gap between uh, competitive and casual. You were thinking what about if, this in bed? Yeah, no, literally. I was just like, I, 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 I was, I was, I was literally just, I, I listen, but, but the, the goal is to make it as similar as possible uh, so we can start bridging the gap. What if, like, when you go to rank play, it has like a big disclaimer that at least explains some of the changes? Like, okay, like, let's make file silent footsteps, and then you, like, you press rank play, and there's a big message. It's like, in this, uh, in rank play, your your footsteps are silent. The mini map works tr like traditionally. Like it was just something I was thinking about to like at least sort of explain it more, so people mm -hmm. don't just go into rank play and then they're confused. Yeah. confused. Why do about I feel why like the, the game only, is different? The only issue with that, though, Zen, is like with a lot of those prompts, like people are just gonna instantly close them without even reading it, and then uh, you're not gonna have it just pop yeah, every true. time you hop in. So it's a nice, it's a nice idea, I think. To the earlier points in this call, bro, just really go to sleep. Then. The, the thing is, <laughs> to the bro, just go to sleep. CDL, then, as as far as the CDL shit, like I th I am okay with taking the responsibility of getting the competitive side of Call of Duty out ourselves. Like that's fucking our job. Like that's mm -hmm. always been our job. As much as we want them to do it for us, they're never gonna fucking do it. So I'm down for them to give us that responsibility, as long as they just give us the ability to do that. The tools, yeah. That's what I want. Like I, give I us also... silent, silent footsteps and get, give give us red dots just in our little neck of the woods in our small little two hundred million dollar league that you guys have us in. Just in that little section, give us two options that will make the game a million times better and then if we want to make if if octane wants to go out and make fucking pub gameplays then he still can and 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 then that's our job is to get the word on, out on the point of that hitch because it's a good point and i want to i, I want to say this it's about time that call of duty from a competitive view just scrap the idea like completely disregard it admit it, it made no sense that bridging the gap is is, is important because it isn't, bro. It honestly isn't. We've tried it, I don't know how many years. It's obviously impossible. That shouldn't even be a priority to bridge yeah. the gap between the casual and the competitive game. Hold on. No, it's no, it's not. No, it's, no, it's not. not. No, it's it never not. will be. It, Why? Bro, look how casual the game is made. It will never be to play Call of Duty at the highest level possible. It will never be a thing that those two games will be similar. And uh, to follow up on that, I, bro, I don't think it matters for viewership at all, Agreed. bro, at all. It doesn't add one viewer. It doesn't take away one viewer. They don't even know what's the difference. If if you're just a complete casual Call of Duty player, you've never seen competitive, bro. You walk, hop in a stream, you can't even notice the difference between the two from a viewer perspective. You, you have no clue, bro. 
you'll see a gun you'll be like why are they running so many of the same guns but like that's that's just that's just meta right that's in warzone even at its casual limit like there sure. there is no like between the two we got to stop that let's bridge the gap because it yeah. only hurts both uh, to, to i think davis's to davis's point sorry sorry chris oh, good. uh before we, before we go ahead i think that's a really good idea davis um and this is an area where someone like the call of duty league specifically someone like daniel needs to carry a lot of water for the community on this front and getting that voice heard in the developer. You're only asking for a couple of minor features, but the, the upside is massive for the community. So if we align on those and they get that done, like, well, yeah, these two years can be pretty good. Yeah. Considering if we get some decent maps, we're going to be cooking. And Blake, else? Blake and I have said this on stream a hundred times is this game, in my opinion, yes, the squad spawns suck, but we've dealt with those for two years and we did all right. Um, I think this game is two, two or three changes away from being a really quality COD, a, a two-year, a two, a potentially you know viable two-year COD, and I just, but I also think those two changes are nece are like almost necessary mm -hmm. in order to make it there. I, it's I, just I think, frustrating. They know what the issues are. Like yeah. uh, in the very first feedback, all three bullet points were like, "Yeah, that's it right there." Right. Like if you change those, this game slaps for everybody. Yeah. They, yeah. Outside outside of the animation stuff that I think they can definitely change um, for like everybody, I think everything else should be in the settings. Like, for example, the perks, the radar, all that stuff will probably be in the settings. So we can obviously take that into our own hands. I think what it's going to come down to is the maps, because all the problems that you guys are speaking of, like loud footsteps, for example, or inconsistent dead silence and stuff like that. A lot of it comes down to the maps and the modes, because it, like, I, like I've said before, I'm not saying that I, I agree with this philosophy or this should be in the game. But I'm saying if you take a map like Raid and we'll just go back to that staple, um, there's only limited spots a person could be. I don't care if a person can hear me that much, like that much, like or, or like you know. You, you guys see what I'm trying to say, like because yeah, it's yeah. predictable where people are going to be. But when you take these fucking maps that have 300 different corners and different buildings and all that stuff, and there's so many corners, it makes it so much fucking worse when people can hear you and yeah. then the last thing i want to touch um on because I, I, I kept trying to get my word in but i couldn't um, Go ahead. Pat, pat was talking about how they need to stop trying to bridge the gap with competitive and, and casual i fucking agree what they need to start trying to to, to to pull from and i guess bridge the gap here or, or or just um have people um what's the word migrate over from is competitive fps fans people that go out there and go and play valorant or csgo or apex or etc et i'm just going to throw out some of the popular shooters the people that go out there even halo the people that go out there and play those games we want them to come and play our esport because our esport is just a better game we shouldn't be trying to cater to the guy that puts down fucking claymores and play and and comes home and has a beer that guy's never going to be interested in this shit he can eat like he's not he's not going to know the difference we want to go out there and cater to the people that love the ranked games love competitive games because clearly there's a market for it right you see these other games like csgo and valor and stuff like that people are going to say like oh yeah um you know the games are, are are just the same for casual and competitive sure but like those people that play the casual stuff they are esports fans mm -hmm. it's not because the game is identical it's because the game is marketed towards the esports and having a good competitive game mm -hmm. like it, that's literally why we 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 got to start channeling that and pulling from those spaces not trying to pull from the casual community because let's be realistic here we're never ever going to get the game where like the casuals and the and the competitive community have the gap bridged unless we the competitive scene transitions completely over to them. And even then there's zero guarantee that we will ever be playing the same, uh, that they will even care to watch. Yeah. We will never, who are we kidding? Trying to pull the, the majority into the minority. That's never going to fucking happen. And then uh, just to move on from that, the time to kill, I think is another topic of discussion <clears throat> way too high. Pat, I mean, I know you're in game development, right? It's it's not an easy switch to, especially like you were saying before, with all the attachments and everything to actually change that. Yeah, two, so two that's weapons not changing, is easy, I don't think. but an, an overhaul of just the time to kill is too low is a, is a, or too fast is, is a really hard thing to change. It would just take time. Yeah, no, it's, it's and, gonna, and, and I feel like it's just not a like. It's, it's not, not just a it, setting it where is. you just change the health. No, it doesn't work. It's like not that. gonna work. I mean, like I mean that, is though. it worse than Ghost though? I don't well, know. here's here's I, the thing about time be, to kill. It might actually be. I think be. it's similar to Ghost. Here, here's the thing about time to kill, right? And, and I and I saw I saw Exclusive Ace did like a, a a test on this. The the server performance 
it, it like it's so much better than it used to be like yes. these these clients like they like they the servers are running at like 80 80 hertz almost and clients are getting like 65 to 70 like bro back in the day we used to get like you know they were running at like oh. maybe 30 and we were getting like 12 or 10 yeah so it's like I, I just think the hit registration is to the point where it's so much better that we 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 feel like the TTK was faster back then because it was statistically, but it never felt like that. Like even in BO2 and Ghost, like it, it really never felt like TTK was faster than it is now. And to add to that, the headshot multiplier is insane. It was well, insane in Modern Warfare yeah, 19. Like that's go and it's away even again. more insane in this game. Which is sad. No one digs, but you know. <laughs> the, we, CDL we, the CDL tuning will get rid of headshot multiplier. But I also go, think CDL tuning sorry. shouldn't. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you're I think, good, you're good. I think CDL tuning should also up the health of everyone. Mm, the only, that's a I mean, that only that's issue, issue no. The it, only issue with that is snipes in in search and destroy, right? That would be nades, the only throwables. issue. And, and, and nades potentially. Okay, as yeah. long as it doesn't ruin that, I agree. But it, I think it's the harder main, than that though. The main like, oh, hold on. Oh, actually, I can't remember what I was going to say now because I just lost my train of thought. Um, just keep going. Oh, there's 40 uh, people in here. I'm yeah, sorry. exactly. I, I was no, gonna it's, say, okay. it's, it, it's a lot <laughs> harder than just raise the health. Like even if you take nades out of it, like each gun right has set ranges and set bullet damage values at each range, and then you also have attachments that modify that. But it's like there could be a gun right now that does like 98 damage to the chest, right? In three shots. Let's just hypothetically does 98 damage to the chest in three shots. And let's say we raise it to 120. It, it could still do like, um, it, it could still add maybe one bullet, but for other weapons, it could add like three bullets just, just based on like the math of how you yeah. add health yeah. and those specific numbers. That's why I said it's a lot harder to, to just up the health because you really have to just, redo the entire balancing across yeah. all weapons and make it where okay well before you did the math for 100 hp now you got to do the math for 130 hp to achieve like the same thing and it's just it's a lot harder to well, do that's yeah, exactly. math involved. Go ahead, davis, let, let davis go let davis everybody go. popped yeah, everybody <laughs> popped off right there go ahead davis <laughs> uh, i mean i i kind of see it as like the iron trials versus regular uh war zone it's like if you just up the up the um, the health, then you find your own meta after that. So yes, I mean, it goes back to what we're saying. Let's just fucking separate competitive from regular. So let's make the, uh, time to kill higher in, in competitive. And then mm -hmm. we can figure out our own meta. That's kind of yeah. how I, uh, I see it. I agree yeah. with you. As long as it doesn't mess with like the core things like grenades and like snipers, if we plan to play on with them, because we, you know, we've been notorious for GAing them recently, but I think we'll be okay in this game. Either way, as long as it doesn't mess with that stuff, I'm in complete agreement with you. We just take the matter into our own hands. But the one thing um, that I was going to uh, I actually remembered and somebody in chat reminded me of it when I was just reading. Um, though That's the reason, Pat, why MW Remastered felt different from COD 4. It's because the engine yeah. and all that stuff is just oh. much better because the bullets like the amount of bullets to kill was the exact fucking same. Yeah, because your M16 just the was hitting just all three bullets, whereas yeah. in COD 4, they're like maybe two of those bullets were hitting mm -hmm. in yeah, a yeah, burst. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ben, what were you going to say? Uh, the one thing, I agree with y'all, the one thing, and this is maybe a little bit of a minor segue, Tom, if you want to take it after I say this, is we don't have like three months from when the game comes out to the first event. This year it's going to be pretty quick, so there's going to be a lot of playtesting that the pros do. It's going to cut in, and it's really important practice time before the season starts, like the week after Thanksgiving. So it's it's... Getting stuff figured out quickly is going to be super important to get yeah, the whole thing going. I feel like 99% of what we saw in the beta will still be in the launch of the game. Yeah, I think so too. But see, I mean, maybe this is just me talking about it's talking out my ass and it's opium. But like last year, I could care less about what changes they made to Vanguard. It was chalk from the start. So at least this year, I'm hopeful that they can give us a good COD versus, in my opinion, the foundation of Vanguard was so chalked. From the beginning, it was just not even worth making changes to. But but to be fair, th the same thing occurred in in Modern Warfare. Like Chris, were you there um, when we tested Modern Warfare 19 at Activision? No, I've been at Activision. I, I was there. Bro. Okay, Zen was there. I know. I know. Slasher was there. Accuracy was there. Cap was there. There's a bunch of players. Um, and we and we went through this whole spiel. Like we we felt that the launch version of what we were going to see was just not up to par at all. And so. Me, especially because I left that like with fucking, you know, 
I mean, basically got told like there was going to be a massive overhaul. And I'm sure a lot of players there remember this. And bro, like nothing changed, like not even eventually. It was just like everything we kind of went over was just scrapped. It was just we were there to to to, to say we did it. Right. Um, and so I, I feel like it's kind of the same boat where it's like even if they get all this feedback that needs to change. And you, and you got to remember, Marvel 19 was still CDO era. So it was still of the same importance. Um, literally nothing changed. Like, I, I mean, bro, the, the the crazy thing to me is the fact that some of these beta maps still had like more than five hard points, right? Like on the on the actual map. Like, yeah, that, they have like seven to eight in, on some. You want to hear the, the wild thing? The biggest map, I think, had the least amount of hard points. No, but, but like, the two but like biggest that, maps had the least yeah, amount exactly. of hard points. But, 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 but that, was, that was the thing where when we were at IW the, the, for that and we saw like 20 or 21, whatever they had on some of the maps. We were like, look, like this just cannot be a thing competitively. Like even even casually, to be honest, like four or five max max hills a map. Like that's that's the max we could, we should ever go in hard point. And the fact that like that just n- never got through it. Just I mean, it just really makes me feel like they just there is no improvement in like when when we talk about the feedback we give from a competitive side. Like it doesn't change design direction at that studio. Yeah. It never I, has. I will say though, like. There were like it's what's used Mercado as an example. Like, I think they were doing a little bit of A/B testing with some of the hardpoint hills because, like, at least two of them on both sides of the spawns are essentially the same hill, just in a different location. So I wonder if they are going to reduce the number of hills, but trying to figure out like if the location is good, or alternatively, to your point, maybe they're just like we just don't care. We want we know there's only like essentially four sides to a map. We don't care at 68 hardpoints are just in different spots. I hope it's the former. And not the latter. I mean, I think competitive will definitely get their amount of hard points, just like they did in Mono for 19. But I just feel like for, I'm, I'm talking more of like a studio design direction. Like you kind of can see where their head's at. Like the fact that they're, they're still going in this route, even if they like know that they have to change it for competitive eventually. Like that's what they want to do at the studio. And that's that's where I just feel like just so there's there's just so much disconnect. I don't know, bro. We didn't even have hard point to be at MW. We were playing yeah, headquarters. Yep. What do you guys think is gonna be the third game mode? Uh thinking about that, I, I Shotzi said on stream, uh Leaksy, he said that it might be CTF. I don't know if that's true or not. I, I saw a, I a screenshot. CTF. Highly it, doubt. It, I saw really a screenshot of CDL I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with the way this Our game hits. plays with the sound and stuff like that, there is not a good game mode that we can play right now. Because CTF will run into the same issue where if you're up, you're just camping in Soundhorn. Yeah. And, and can't control when you have when you win the first engagement and you get pushed up on some sort of map, you do the same thing. Domination, same thing. Bro, like, bro. what has lo- it been the last two years? In control. They, in control. They're not gonna they're not gonna shy from that, I don't think. I think it's pretty it's, obvious uh, at this just, point. We've just never played control. We've never played control without DS. Dead silence, yeah. I just yeah. think it's I think it's gonna play Horrible. horrible. I mean, I, I, I mean, to be honest with horrible. you, I think, I think it plays horrible as is. I think it's still the worst. Yeah, it's gonna be worse. Have. But it's dude, worse. I, I mean, have y'all played? Did y'all play the beta with the new perk package upgrade system and overclocked on? Uh, I, I only played the PC one. Dude, so did that the give me that? overclocked. I don't know if y'all played enough, but overclocked stores a charge of your field upgrade. Yeah. So if you're sitting there and you're yeah. not using dead silence, mm-hmm. it's basically no, it in the background be. storing another one. There's and no so other, there's okay. there's no other option besides like ghosts in that in that perk slot. I'm pretty sure unless they have more. Like, so, right. you have, so you have two you have like two deadies basically is what you're saying. No, you have like? two deadies and you can have them back to back. Yeah. Okay. It, okay. If we play with this current system where we have to build dead silence, in my opinion, that's a good thing that we have overclock in the game if there's no other option there and we just use it. Well, because it's not overclock. You, you're thinking like, you need to think overclock and immediately think, oh, specialists, but like, we don't have those. If it's making dead silence more accessible, great. I love it. If that's, well, if that's I mean, what we have to do. I mean, just adding another barrier. Like at that point, yeah. like, I mean, why? You know? At that point, oh, yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't agree with it, but I'm system. saying like, it if it's a need. Point. At right, that no, point, I understand. It's basically a crutch perk, and you might as well just make all footsteps silent because right. you make the meta better. Then people are going to go in different yeah. directions there. You're just making it a good game. Like, uh, I, I have I a random think. opinion I wanted to get y'all's thoughts on, especially you, since really a bunch of y'all the played Dolphin Pro. Dolphin. Go ahead, Blake. What's your opinion? Uh, all right, so this game's got tax sprinting in it. What would y'all think about audio on tax sprint, dive, and slide? Everything else is silent. And so yeah, then all fine. the pros play the game on just sprint. I mean, I think that'd be good. Yeah, that's good. 
I mean, if that's their the whole, whole goal is like, well, they, well, they want to punish rush players. Tax sprint? That's what I mean. No, you could yeah. still play with tax sprint. You just choose you can, to be you audible. Can just be loud. Yeah. Listen, I know, Tommy, you never used to run fucking. Well, I don't like. Uh, back in the day, you're still dropping double. <laughs> well, to me, so. I mean, it depends. I mean, it's a lot different, like, uh, especially on land <laughs> when there's a fucking. When there's a crowd. I mean, that's good gas right there. Um, but it's definitely a lot different on land. Like, I don't, uh, Dead Silence, you can still sound horror, though, Ben. You know, like, you yeah, still no. Also, no Dead Silence back then was, like, you you barely heard someone next to you. Like, it, it's still, like, wait, you weren't wait, loud at all. Wait, wait, also, also, this is just a big, <laughs> awesome. this is something that people don't understand, and I think people look at the game too linear, linearly. I'm not a person that um, is advocating for this sort of gameplay, but, yeah, I, I, I do want Footsteps to be silent. I do want Dead Silence as a perk. Great. But in reality, not having Dead Silence all the time doesn't mean you can't make plays it just doesn't mean you can make certain plays there are still ways to get to make plays and advance on the map or and especially in a game like this right with trophy systems not being always a thing that your perk selection um the meta between having to use double time or having to use both flak and tack like map yeah. control using throwables that is the type of gameplay that you make taking the map from people by using certain throwables getting to places faster you know that that sort of thing people are like oh i don't have dead silence i can't make plays that's not how the that's not how the game works it's it, there's just other player other plays to be made like that's that's how the game is going to play that's how it played in mw like just because you didn't have dead silence didn't mean you couldn't fucking play the game it just made you couldn't flank the problem you couldn't etc 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 even like, even if you take that sounds out of it. The problem with footstep audio is it just removes awareness. Period. Yeah, like no, it, it just it just removes all awareness yeah. away from the gameplay. It's like, such a big skill gap. Like having this, like being aware is exactly. like everything. It's our or, only skill gap. That is what it, made or break. It, like it kind good of players. removes it removes awareness and makes a, the aware. It makes it more random because then, like, yes, you're 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 not watching your flank because you can just hear them. But then one of them has dead silence and yeah. then. All of a sudden, TST's assassinating you from behind because you weren't <laughs> expecting us to be behind. Like, it just makes no it consistency, weird. Davis. It's, it's not no trackable. It's not trackable. Right, exactly. It, it, it's not trackable at all. Um, the one thing, the one uh, devil's advocate thing here that I will say is just like not having dead silence in a certain scenario could mean the play is automatically chalk and you may as well just AFK and end the round because you know the result. Um if dead silence is a thing the way it's it is now it makes certain plays clutchable for example um it makes it so you still have to to pay attention Not to what anymore. you're doing no no i'm saying like let's say oh yeah i know i know but let's say <laughs> let's say let's say a team is in a 3v1 and the guy has dead silence he can still make a play he can still do something um and, but also on the opposite side of that scenario, if a guy doesn't have dead science and he's in a clutch scenario it's over like it it goes both ways so i don't know i i I'm not a fan of it, but I see I, I see both sides of the whole way the game is played without it. With with them being so uh, you know, it seems hell bent on making the game as casual as possible, but also giving us the opportunity in private match to put red dots on the mini map. Do you think they would be willing to throw on a a, a you know a footstep setting in well, private match? Didn't they have one? Didn't they, didn't they like? Wasn't there like a teaser where like your walking volume was tunable? Like you're able to. Oh, yeah, yeah it was that's like you mousing, could dictate your your walk your speed. speed and yeah. stuff that's like, like that, mouse yeah. and keyboard shit though. Like that's oh, like yeah. Valorant yeah. shit. Like that's it, not like hot, holding like, shift kind of the thing. reason. The yeah. reason why it's a, no. The reason why it's on mouse and keyboard is because, for example, let's say you're trying to walk at a certain speed that is less audible. Your your keyboard press hitting right. W. It's the same. It's not, it, yeah, it's the same input as just holding it down as yeah. hard as you can. So sense. they had to find a way for that to be. Um, tunable while a stick you can just kind of like lightly move it right so they basically just bridge the gap there but there sense. wasn't actually a setting that they just went in and input for everybody uh, i know i'm in the minority but i actually i don't like full audio or no audio tax sprint games with a tax sprint i hate how fast we moved while there's no audio and granted yes i'd rather have dead silence than the way it is right now but that's why i feel like there's a middle ground that they've just never tried to achieve yet that i feel like would work for everybody I don't even know like, if people are going to be using ATS this year. I, is ATS going to be allowed this year or no? Probably not, but it's, I mean, just because... Why wouldn't it be not? there's no slide? Well, 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 no. You, oh, wait, like, you mean, like the thinking. actual ATS setting? Yeah, like just, uh, I, you know how we usually GA ATS? Like mm, nobody that's can, a good point. There yeah. is, there's uh, no slide, slide cancel, so I, I mean, wonder if it'll be allowed. Argument, well, the whole argument in ATS is just like not giving people free movement. It's like, it just making it a little bit more difficult for everybody. Right. So not everybody has like the same capability of 
mo like you know what I'm saying. So it creates a little bit of a skill gap where like yeah. certain players are better with movement, right? Like shots you compare to other players, right? Yeah. So I don't know, but with the slide thing, it it is a good point because the, the whole the conversation. Well, yeah, yeah, one of the biggest problems with ATS is the slide, but. It doesn't yeah. necessarily, but there's also a new setting that might be up for debate. Um, it's uh, where it's the no, no, no. It's the one where you uh, you tap sprint once, mm -hmm. and it immediately puts you in attack sprint instead of um, putting you into normal run, or, and then you have to hit it again attack sprint. So it's just single tap. So it's basically the same thing yeah. as auto attack sprint, except auto attack sprint. You just had to push forward on your stick, yeah, and you would do it. Now you just have to click it once. And the reason mm -hmm. why that is still OP or not OP, but it's still good, is because the neck, the new meta is double jumping and the faster you're able to transition between, um, you know, jumping and then sprinting, the more repeated you'll be able to do your, uh, double jump, bunny hop, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I think it's still, I think there's still going to be some, some sort of up for debate there. The only issue with playing on that setting is that you can't normal sprint, which I still think there's a benefit to normal sprinting sometimes, um, for an audio like advantage, I guess. And we got all this sprinting now. And I don't even know if ATS, even if it was allowed, would be the wave. You die so fast. I don't even know if you want to be sprinting around everywhere. Like the burger yeah. walks and the L triggering and just like, you know, you, you're you not going to be able to move around so much. The sound horn, like ATS yeah, that's might why, fuck you more than it helps you. That's why the best setting in the game, Tom, I just told you. It's Crazy the one where you, uh, you you click left stick once. Yeah, you tap, tap to run. Controller. Yeah, you tap to run. Yeah, yeah. that's really the best one. Where like for people that are actually watching the stream, auto tax sprint, the way it would work is if you hold up forward you're automatically in tax sprint. Right. Now you're a setting where you click once, you're in tax sprint. The original setting, the normal without everything off, you have to double click twice to get in a tax sprint. Yeah. So it, it, it makes it, it bridges the gap. It, it bridges the gap between the advantage of being on tact on auto tax sprint with the disadvantage and it gives you basically a, like both, both the best of both worlds now. Mm -hmm. What I would, uh, where I think, because we've been talking about this for an hour, but I, I think this is an interesting kind of conversation to move to. Like, I think we're almost at the point where, like, I know we don't normally get, like, the V1 rule set or even a V5.5 rule set from TDL to, like, a week after launch. We're almost at the point where we need to kind of have that conversation now. And who, who, now? What, what, okay, what is oh, – I, I always want to ask people this. Where is, that where is the conversation? Who, who are we conversing with? Right, it's the league makes the rule set now. Yeah, but who? Is it, who? I mean, is that Daniel? Daniel Sen? I want. Probably. I want to take. I. I will do it for fucking free. Where no, I throw. Competitive. I throw money eights. Team. I will throw money eights for a week and a half straight with pro <laughs> players and figure out every single setting until we get something. No, and I will Tommy, do it for bro, free. Tommy knows, Tommy, Tommy knows my stance on this issue. Tommy knows because I've been saying the same thing for how many years, Tom? What six years, seven yeah, years? You've been saying this for a while. Yeah. That that. So right now, what I figure the way it works, and I don't know this for certain, is that they they have a competitive operations team, right, that does all their all this stuff. And I assume Daniel is also Wayne as the commission. They help form all the stuff, and Spencer obviously assists with player feedback. They even have a real competition committee, like every other professional sport out there, that dictates a lot of this activity. And you can get all the stakeholders in there, and stuff can get sorted and talked. And to your point, a lot of this stuff needs a lot of play testing. Like you can actually follow that stuff through like a really good channel right now it just seems like a lot of it happened bro ben back the, the yeah. you literally just stated the problem you said that needs to happen now yeah no that needs to happen a year ago yeah well, six months ago, ago. in the past so we're talking about the now no but it's every title it should happen a year before launch every bro we've been saying this since 2012 like competitive rule sets should be you know being worked on a year before the title launches but that's, that's, the never that's the only. I, I don't think I'm, anyone disagrees with you, Pat. I'm just saying. I mean, like, we're what's based solutions oriented to now because we can't. I, I think it's just a studio thing. A hundred percent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I agree with you. I agree. I'm, I'm saying right right now that like the game comes out on what the 28th. We got like, yeah. 30 days. Like we should be having this conversation now. People have played the beta. Obviously, this stuff needs to happen behind the NDA. So be it. Figure that shit out. But like, there needs to be. We're in this for two years. To your point, Pat, this should be a continuous thing that goes on for forever. I've been banging the drum on this for six years, and it, it would be so. But who have you been banging the drum? Who have you been banging to? <laughs> who have you been banging? I want to know. Who are you banging, Ben? I, I have talked to 
I have to be careful because this okay, is... Okay, but you've talked to people. I agree with Tyson when I left my previous employer, but uh, I brought this issue up with a number of people. And I okay. think, there's, think there's a reception to the idea, but unfortunately, really the people the best to carry the water on this is professional players that are in current channels with the CDL huh? team through the player relations angle. We've been doing... We've been having this conversation. Bro, I still remember, and then shout out to Treyarch, in BO4 when the game came out and we were sitting there running eights on every map, figuring out what map was good... Blah blah blah, and getting that and getting that um, changed, and they were very receptive to, our, to to what we wanted, what maps we wanted to play, what hills we thought had to be moved, um, even the spawns on certain map. I still remember talking to fucking uh, Matt, who works the uh, you know the, the guy at Treyarch, Matt TKS, or um, and he was always talking about the spawns and stuff like that. And how is this not a thing that has been sorted yet? Like, why is it that? Why are we why doing rule sets years, when the bro, game cause, releases? Because I've been like, bro, Tom and I used to talk about, Tom and I had this conversation, I swear to God, in like IW. I was just like, bro, this, how is this doesn't exist? Because like, it solves. Bro, Ben, what are you talking about in IW? We were having this conversation issues. in 2009. It's it's wild, it's wild to me. And I, I think it would be helpful for the community. It would provide a lot of trust in decisions that are being made because everybody's in it. All the stakeholders are in it. And look, if it needs to be enough, public thing behind NDA so be it get the right people in and sort that yeah, out but, but Pat, to everybody's point like like it, it would it would it would check a lot of boxes to make sure that these conversations are happening and not us just sitting here pontificating on I mean program. that's what yeah we just I mean the whole scene just wants to be taken care of. I mean you can't fault them for wanting to remake I feel like they're trying to make it COD's greatest hits. I mean you look at MW19 this game is I mean it's literally just MW19 with different guns. My my, my thing is like though, three different my thing is though fucking, Building speed. I agree with you. I agree with you, Blake. Where I'm basically saying, like, listen, I don't care if they're if what their design decisions are in terms of like what Matt, what kind of like the game they want to make with Dead Sun and stuff like that. I get it. They're they're set in their ways. But once that shit is made, for example, right, like right after this beta, we got a taste of some of these maps. The pro players got a taste of some of these maps. We realized, okay, hard point. Some of these hills have eight fucking um, yeah. hills in them. Why is it not during this downtime? Like players are coming out to the studio and being like, okay, here are the maps, here are their hills, figure out which ones you like the best and and see what maps you like the best and start building upon that rule set now. Like, I don't like I get it that you're gonna have you're gonna be sending your ways with certain design decisions, but the things that you need to start fixing for the competitive community that are inevitable to get fixed for like, for example, hill count um, and just picking maps for the actual rule set. Why is that not being figured I, out I just, now? I don't, I don't think you guys are taking into account how much the the leadership at these studios matter. That 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 is that is literally all it is. Like but it, even it, it, it is simple, bro. Yeah. If the leadership at these studios cared, they would be there. Players would be there. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Trust me. They would be there. If the leadership at the studios wanted this to be a successful product, players would be in. They could be in in pre-alpha. Like, it, it would. The, the timeline wouldn't matter. If they cared. A, a successful product for comp. You mean? Yeah, yeah. If, if yeah. they cared about making, like, the eSport, like, like viable or just, you know, best case, they would be there. I, I, I promise, but even, bro. But even then, like, I'm thinking back, like, when Black Ops 2 came out and we didn't know if Hardpoint was even going to be a viable game type, and then, you know, people started, like, pros started scrimming it and shit, and then we were like, oh, wait, this shit's kind of lit. And then when on the, on, the offset, on the offset of that, whenever Ghost comes out, and now we don't know what the fuck we're going to play, and so pros are scrimming, like, grind and shit, or what was that thing where you had to collect the dog tags and shit? They're so scrimming confirmed. that. Confirmed. So confirmed, yeah. No, there the was thing a, we had to take them grind, to the bank. Grind was oh, a match and rescue. I'm, oh, no, search and like rescue. It was search and rescue. I remember watching Sharp play something where you killed the search dude. Search and rescue. Had to search grab. Yeah, something. I don't they know. Keep trying to make search and rescue it. Then. It was kill confirmed <laughs> and S and D combined. But yeah, but no, that's what I'm saying. I agree with you guys, I, bro. I if you want to bring in pro players and have have them have them give them a goal, give us a goal to pick out maps you like for competitive in certain hills. Um, great, do that. I like. I don't care if you don't involve us in the, the the game design decision. Like like you tell us to give you input on that stuff and that stuff only. Like I like that's fine with me because at the end of the day, we'll make do with whatever the fuck game you give us. Just let us start preparing the rule set for you guys mm -hmm. like or, early. Or when the game comes out, don't already have a rule set. Like at least say, Hey, like, you know, we don't really give a fuck about you guys, but like you do it and yeah. we'll do it. Yeah, like, I don't we, think like, it wouldn't take us that long either. Davis. It, it would not. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. We would find somebody. No, it'd be done in a week. 
yeah, as long as not Slasher's even. not in charge. Like, <laughs> yeah, like in charge. he's in a chat right now. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, we 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 can figure that out. No stocks, G eight on everything. <laughs> I don't know. Austin's his opinions oh. might be different now, man. Oh, he's, his he's, opinions are definitely you know, different. He's gonna play the now. He loves. He's, yeah, he's got some movers. <laughs> what you brought up was hilarious because me and Pac-Man were talking the other day, and he like he like was trolling me. So he favored a tweet from back in Bo3 when the game launched, and it was an argument between me and Clay about the dredge. Y'all remember the dredge LMG? Yeah. And yeah, Clay dude. Clay was adamant on the timeline, like, we should lead the dredge in competitive <laughs> so we could show the devs why it's so broken. <laughs> and he's like, it doesn't matter how long it takes. And it's like, I, I, Davis, like, I agree with you. Like, that would be doable. But I still think you have players who are going to, like, be against shit like that. Clay wanted like, to play I, the Clay, game out Clay's of the box. Example. That's what Clay always wanted to do. Yeah, he, Clay, Clay he wanted also to play right out the box. Clay also believed the game would be more successful if it was the exact same casual version and competitive. But yeah, that, that, Clay, Clay's wanted to use Claymores and shit. <laughs> yeah, Clay, Clay's not oh, delusional, yeah. bro. I was like, I don't know well, about I, that, I, Clay. I think, I think to put the wrap on this and and um, <laughs> is like, we're, listen, this this whole like concept and conversation to your point like if we get toggleable options like this whole discourse around how do we build the competitive product from a pure gameplay perspective like can be more fine-tuned from the competitive operations standpoint because right now i think it's a very private almost like barely two-way process and it needs to be a little bit more inclusive to everyone because i think it would help crowdsource the solutions to a lot of problems that would increase viewership increase playability etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah i mean i we we can do it though that's and and yep. I, I, the thing is is either give us the game now and we can do it now or or give us a, a month leeway until you know teams actually start scrimming like let them let them play kickoff like let let everybody play kickoff search tournaments and what, for and a rule let, set you're talking about here for, i'm talking about rule sets yeah, yeah. and let yeah. us figure out the rule set because I, I mean there's enough i mean there's a lot of fucking settings but at least there's enough settings where somewhere in there is a competitive fucking rule set somewhere and and, and the, the sad part is is like everyone would just do it for free because they want the game <laughs> to be successful like dude, that, I, it, it, yeah. I love that shit i would do i i like would want <laughs> to dude, do it yeah dude i would go and fucking do a studio and just sit there and test out maps and spawns and hills and stuff like that all the time for free like because it's just it's fun to do and it's it, it it's uh, it's benefit it's beneficial for for the players and then the community oh. because what, well, sorry, what were you let, say? Let's take that a step further because it's a great segue because we, we haven't talked yet about like the whole season reveal and a lot of rumors around based on the league schedule that the season's ending earlier. So you now have this bigger window where the pros can come in near the end of the season before like champs and tests and have now like another month or two to really be involved in that process again to Pat's point if they're willing to take that in because that could really sort of improve the product like that. Well, that won't matter yeah, this yeah. year though. Okay. That wouldn't matter this year. But if they want to test still future season content though, like new maps that are going to get rolled out. I mean, that's... I mean, that, so that, when that's, does the season start, by the way? That's kind of silly though. Uh, like so what's the day? I believe said December 2nd, 2nd right? Yeah. Wait, when's out? Oh, dude, Jesus. December second. The turnaround from Thanksgiving to the season hey, starting. Hey, hey, y'all are fucked. I'm gonna be honest. Why? Game releases at the end of October. You have one month to come up with a fucking rule set, maps, hills, and balance I the fucking game out fuck. the box. I'm gonna be so they, 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 they could do that. They could do that in a month. Uh, I think they could do that. But who yeah, is right you'll get you'll, listen, you'll you'll get the rule set done in a month, but you oh, won't I be see, fucking I, scrimming I, I, until a week before. I don't. I, 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 always, I always thought that the CDL players had like a connect, like they were talking to somebody I, when it came I've to the rule always, set. For the last decade of my life, I've wanted to know who they is. Who I, are? I, who is Zinni? Who is it? Ghost. I, I don't want to break. <clears> I, I know. But there is a thing. Are you people fucking crazy? You don't name drop me in this conversation. Y'all are gonna start scrimming. You're a pro player in here. A week before the tournament, so have fun. Listen, I mean, that, it's so not getting figured out until a month, bro. There wait, is wait. a day. When There's you say when you people. say when you say they, are you talking studio people? I'm talking whoever it takes to make the rule set. Because sometimes I feel like, how the fuck are we playing because oh. our point? You know what I mean? Like, who? I mean, decision players, was that? I, I mean, we definitely get players. Players, players have a word. I mean, I mean, player group yeah, that's, like that. that's just the Activision like competitive operations team, no? Like, yeah, we, um, yeah, we have we. Uh, so there are people. We have our team of people, yeah, yeah, or is yeah. this one dude that you guys are bombarding? Yes, there is. We have. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, I know who it we is. We have conversations with, with people directly person. about rule sets and maps. Yes. Okay. All I know is before I stopped like competing at the pro level and I basically was kicked out of the whole like group chat type stuff, all we had was a fucking D this, uh, Twitter DM. At a least Twitter back then. DM? Uh, back then, but yeah. I don't know how it is now, but wait, I'm not that, even that, kidding. You know, yeah. That's wait, what it, it used to be, it just the a Twitter way, DM wait, with two people. It was the people. same way in MW19. It was literally yeah. Yeah, not that's what I'm saying. People, that's, when I, that's, that's when I basically wasn't wasn't there. Yeah, it, was, it was a Twitter DM. When I was there, it was a Twitter DM. When I was there, it was a Twitter DM. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't look at it. One at a time, one at a time, gentlemen. CDL team representatives. That's what it was. Yeah, there's... If there's a chat for day-to-day stuff, right? Like, different, like... For just different that's day to day that you can use whenever and there's also meetings that players have with certain people throughout the season do you think y'all if y'all went in there kind of on like a unified front and got it figured out on your side and then presented to them do you think that would smooth things out or is that already how it is I mean, players have a lot of input about like maps and, and rule set and stuff. I mean, no, it's of course. Not like I mean, but I'm sure a like, lot of it differs between how, the pros. How in depth do you do you guys? Uh, Jesus about pro Christ, players? you're gonna get me in trouble, dude. No, but that, is, like, that's that's it right much, there. Though. Just, just ask, make. just ask, because I, I mean, dude, I like, <laughs> I was in every single one up until Mono for nineteen or Cold War, I guess. Okay, I, do do you guys, as a collect collective group of pro players, go into private match? And play all sorts of different maps and different game types, or oh, yeah, you we guys test maps and game types and stuff. Yeah, yeah. you test stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, okay. But you, you would, you would scrim. You would scrim, and then you kind of give like a, a yeah. collective feedback. Right. After and sometimes the fact. we're asked to test certain things or like different things. Like, yo, like play this for a couple of days. How does okay. it work? But no one ever like say in 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 Vanguard when you guys were playing Bakaj, no one was ever like, yo, let's let's scrim with 150 health. Like, let's see what that feels like. Did uh, you all... No, That's we talked about the health stuff. No, we, we talked about the health stuff a lot. But okay. like Pat said, it just dip. Yeah, I mean, we've talked yeah. about health and TTK stuff. That's so been, changing, uh... the, the requests still have to get approved. It's not like the request can just be like done. And like, also, Davis, it's right. very hard for pro players to agree on shit. That's also I, another. I That's what I was well, yeah, That's what I was wondering everyone, is like, is it figured everyone... out before it goes into That's that? Very thread. difficult for no, 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 no. There was arguments in that thread bro and everyone is out for their own self-interest or their their team's interest i should say right i will yeah. keep saying this on the show because i brought this up a couple of times um and and pat obviously you know who he is D dr doug had a really good post a couple of years ago about ga's and the ga process and essentially that that point of like why it needs to be a unified process because it's always going to be political per team per player when what's their best interest and i also fully unify. disagree with that post because that post said that no pro players should be involved well, I agree with you to disagree on that point, but I think his thought process on how you would actually roll out the system, Bro, it's a really smart idea. This this goes right back to the coaching argument. Like, that is such a dumbass take simply because the pro players are the smartest people when it comes to the rule set. And there is not enough retired pro players to be in that position. Like... There's, there's just not. The what, you mean and the, we're, I should we're also say, we're getting there. We're getting I should there. also say not enough good pro players. And and, and Chris, Damn. to your point about getting there, it's about players who like people who would want to be in that position, like, you know. like, and, and that number is very low. So I volunteer Duarte. Listen, I'd always do it for free. I been I understand why like someone that's not a pro player yeah, or I'd ever been a pro free. player would think that way, but from the outside looking in, like. Bro, trying to tell a pro player what the best rule set is for the game is is so ass backwards. Well, no, that's like, always been a, they, that's always been the annoying thing too. from a pro perspective. So, I, so look, the what I like about the post for for stars, and I can link it. We can put it in the description of this YouTube video so you guys can see it. Uh, is it describes like the issue, and then I, at the end of it, he kind of has what would be like a best way to do a GA process that's like not as intrusive. I agree with you though, because even if you had coaches do it. The coaches are still going to be political about it because they're going to be in what's best interest for their team. Yeah, if it hurts that's, team, bro, that's how it always has been. And you know the coaches aren't making their sole decisions, bro. Yeah, like Even the players. coaches are discussing with the player. Yeah, and the yeah. players are making the call, that's, and the coach is just relaying it. Post, it's a I mean, I, I look, my, my, my bigger point to, to that is like it, it is – the problem right now is it is a very purely political process and people are looking out for themselves and it's yeah. not a large stakeholder conversation with all of the people that need to be in it that would actually make the right decision and, by the way, be agile enough to deal with stuff Bro, that happens. Well, Pat, right Pat just said it best because there's just not enough people that are qualified to make these decisions. Yeah, there's there, not. There just isn't because they don't understand the well, game you have to, to the level the that game. we did. Like, I, even I even I former don't... pros, you need to put in a lot of hours yeah, to actually have 100%. the knowledge of Bro, knowing what's that's good. What 
it is viable. It's in like, in oh, IW, you're... in IW, the people that went to the studio to kind of do what you're talking about, Ben, was TP, Merc, and Maven. They were like the team in IW that went to the went to IW studio <laughs> the team. and like and con yeah the like competitive operations team that like consulted on the game for the rules and it's like I mean I think they're all three intelligent people but they're not pro players and they weren't pro players at the time they hadn't been grinding competitive. Well, Joe, so Joe, IW Joe was working for MLG at the time, right? Yeah, mm, team yeah, Maven yeah. were casting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's so, what I'm saying. It's like those were the people that got selected, and it's like. Yeah, they could they could have a, like a, a solid foundation, but like at the end of the day, they're not going to make the best decisions for like you I, know, what I, the pro players are seeing day in and day out. It, but but that's my point is like you would yeah. have to you would have to pay a collective group of retired pro players who are still involved in the scene and still playing at some you know some capacity to be a unified team that would go studio to studio every year. You're talking like the Richie Hines, like Halo, like pro team that they have that helped us. Uh, yes. Not the way 343 did it, but, but yeah, essentially, that, you yes, would, you would, you would have to have a collective, like let's say four or five, you know, group of, of, of ex pro players or even like, um, or yeah, ex pro players, but also like current players, not a, competing, a, uh, but they play the this, game. This is a completely And they would have to go argument. studio to studio. And, and those would be like the unified front. That'd be the only way it would work. This is a completely different argument. That would, We've also, had this... that would also have no ties to any team. So mm -hmm. not coaching, not consulting, you know, no relationships. They would have any... to be full paid positions. Yeah, like, they would have you, to be like so actual like unbiased paid only. positions. Yeah. yeah. We've had this, we've had this uh, conversation. This is a completely different issue, but we've had this conversation many and many a times with um, the way Activision and Call of Duty and stuff like that. They don't utilize their personalities at all to, they don't keep them in house. Like all these people that retire or, or you know go do other stuff they 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 go and do other things that might not necessarily be involved in call of duty they don't keep them in house i mean look at i mean granted tom is still involved in call of duty he made that stretch he could easily go and do gtrp or even become a variety streamer or do all these other things like he's having success being a content creator not just in call of duty but outside of call of duty like they're doing nothing to keep these people like even like i wouldn't even be surprised like for example crim i don't know his situation stuff like that i know he's retired and stuff like that but if he made the, the decision to go pursue something other than content creation in, in Call of Duty, would they even reach out to try to keep this man in the scene? This guy's a fucking uh, legend. Yeah, no, true. they wouldn't give a fuck. They don't utilize the tools and these people that they have that understand their <clears throat> esport and, and have this loyal, this almost like this this fucking loyalty to this game like yeah. it's 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 so bad i don't, so I don't know what else to say well also also to your point activision doesn't even acknowledge the call of duty scene pre cdl <laughs> like go ahead ben. Let, 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 let ben me. get his point out go ahead ben so, so I, I agree with you chris on the product side <clears> i will say based on my experience on the other side of it it got a lot better in the last 12 months i can't speak to why but it definitely got a lot better. I agree with you, though. Like, and this goes back to my point. Like, <clears throat> there needs to be more advisory committees and panels around, especially around product and competitive topics. And I'm not saying that these committees need to have 100% decision power, as great as that would be. <clears throat> but there's op opinions that need to be in those rooms when some of these decisions are being made that are not being heard and would help the product tremendously for those things to either be in a report or for people to be in those rooms when those conversations are happening either within internal teams at Activision or between the CDL and, say, the franchise teams themselves. Yeah, no, uh, listen, let's let's move on from this conversation. Davis, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about your tournament. What happened with your tournament? I don't know if you want to talk about that or not. And Feel free to say, you um, know, just yeah. scratch that. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. The uh, the Cold War tournament was just it was a miscommunication between the uh, the tournament uh, organizer that I usually go with and okay. and Activision. So uh, in order to like, uh, you know, they they have a, Activision has a lot of uh, tournaments coming up, so they don't want to uh, overbook and and you know have different things. Right. Uh, like especially they're they're running this whole like uh, you know Warzone campaign uh, recently. Mm -hmm. So uh, no, they they just uh, they just kind of wanted to. It, it was all between uh boom and activision and you know we've straightened it out uh since then i i think i actually just got word like as we were on the uh on this podcast that we we the third has opened up like all day um to, to run the tournament work? yeah okay. yeah so so i think we're probably going to be doing it on the third as i haven't we, i haven't messaged anybody but oh yeah that's let's yes. link up davis and do a tournament let's do let's do so like when the game drops let's try and do like a like I want to do something with the franchise teams, Davis. You think we could get that cleared? Absolutely not. <laughs> Damn. 
I mean, we could try, though. Maybe we I've could already, try. I've already, I've already tried twice. Try? It's not, it's, it's, it's it's not, not happening. It's not what, if we co- it what if we wear a costume? What if we wear a costume? It's yeah. not happening. I it's got to be a mix of. It's got to be a mix of players. Oh, that's that's do y'all, do y'all remember the like vivid. the the like um, when when teams couldn't even like play against each other in those online tournaments early on like if it was brand still, against brand that's still the case I, i'm talking that's more about blowing. like 2k's remember 2k's like bro everybody loved 2k's every weekend everybody was hyped to, to tune into people's yeah. streams and watch 2k's you know i'd pull up every stream would do like a zoom zone type shit davis you pulled up like i don't know why we can't run oh, tournaments yeah, like two, that. two cdl players per team i remember that yeah. There, there is a uh, oh man i wish i could go more to this one like you it, can you're a full-time content creator nah, dude nah, shut I, up i gotta i gotta be careful about things i signed when i left that i don't want to violate yeah, right. don't but, don't let him but, bully you as soon as Sin retires he's not saying shit what are you, what are you <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Sin retires he is keeping quiet and you're, playing wait, fucking gta wait, 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 quiet in the realm quiet in the realm i think the the part that they're missing right now is understanding like the pure content play that exists around launch like and i feel like they had to be direct kicking and streaming and having the the season so much earlier they don't understand like it's not about funneling everybody to one stream to watch everything it's about this pure access to just unlimited content unlimited opportunities for any audience to your point tom like 2k's and 5k's would bang it doesn't matter people watching on scum stream your stream shotzi stream whatever stream everybody's tuning in and watching the 2k and the 5k and experiencing a live talking about it on social media like they're they're not they're not always understanding like the pure engagement play of some of these things and it's getting lost in a lot of these product conversations which is extremely unfortunate and i'm glad that they finally came around starting the season earlier because the last couple of years it sucked but the starting the season sucked. earlier still doesn't mean they came around to that problem and that problem still exists they, they didn't make a change for that problem they just made it in a way that they could profit off of it earlier because they're getting closer yeah, to that boom i, I, want, that, I just that's wonder why profit. that's about eyeballs every, you, you know what you know what i mean by profit ben yeah benefit it, 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 the, the thing is is i uh, I don't know if I'm fucking being a narc here, but the, it's the it has been the rule since the CDL has come into yeah. play. Like you can't play with more than two people. But the mindset and, is just trying to keep it so like the the CDL teams are exclusive to the CDL right. stream. And, and I completely yeah. understand that, but like they haven't like they they cracked down on it the first year, mm-hmm. and then in Cold War and in MW or in uh, Vanguard, you're seeing uh, you know Optic and Phase were in the finals of the first kickoff tournament, and so it's like the, now the only tournaments that they're not enforcing it for are like actual like tournaments with big prize pools and like tournaments that would actually get a lot of eyes on it. So now you now instead of get having hundreds of thousands of people watching these big na- big name teams play for big money, now you're watching big name teams play for 400 bucks. And it's still it's still happening. Like every it's still the same amount of viewership because Scum turns a stream on, he's in the finals for five dollars. He's getting a hundred K still getting hundred K. Yeah exactly because just like the last tournaments. I love yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Really good tournament idea. That's why league matches are the worst thing that's ever happened to Call of Duty. <laughs> Period. So, so I don't. Everything. I don't so, agree with that. I don't agree. I do. Everything. It's so, the worst thing that's ever happened. So, I it, would rather watch a league match than sit there for twelve hours a day as a thirty-year-old on a Saturday and watch you guys play a fucking thousand-team bracket. This, I, 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 wait, wait. No one's talking. No one's talking about that. We should be playing a thousand. No one's talking about an open tournament. I'm. I'm talking strictly. Everything with the CDL team should be a tournament. Every every event, every content, it should be a tournament. There should be no league that, matches. That's what Halo. That's what Halo's doing this here. Speaking of Halo, that Halo event was awesome. Well, you, that, 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 you don't want Halo as you don't want HCS currently as to, your. To an extent, that's what that's what Valorant is now. Like even the Champions Tour is essentially a group stage into a bracket. Like that's essentially. It, Doug, Doug giant, is it's just bro. There there tournament. there just should be no there should be no league matches, bro. They're just First not all, fun for anybody. Can Doug drop the fucking Google? He's doc? coming on. He's coming Jesus. on, Doug. He said he's he got said, a lot wait, to say. Wait, Friday. He said it's a wait, video on Friday. Hold on. I don't. I don't believe that at all. Wait, wait. He just said in the Twitch chat. He said he said get your pop. Coin ready. <laughs> no. Hold on, he's in the chat. He said just recorded 4K proof on how to find the hacker. 4K. This is a breakthrough. This is a breakthrough. None of us know. Mm-hmm. I don't. To, the Doug was at war with the Vanguard Doug, ranked he's system. For it's gonna be Insane, Vanguard bro. ranked players. Nah, he said he has something on the Nadia girl too. He said he's he's got a whole bunch of stuff. Now hold on, real no, quick about, about Nadia. Bro, here's sense. the thing about what Nadia. Here's here's what makes no sense. If she was hacking 
Activision, who has all of these back end stats, they would, would know, not right? have invited her to COD Next. It doesn't make sense. They would have had to have known. You know That's what I'm what saying? I'm thinking. You, you could you could argue though by them not inviting <laughs> her, doesn't that also have other potential negative down effects? So like they have to kind of play this game. Yo, I yo. Don't know. Either way, whether she's hacking or not, I, I could care less. Whether she's chill. hacking or not, bro, <laughs> Listen, she just... had the absolute shaker on land, bro. It might have just been the light. <laughs> okay, but the, 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 the you can't say shaker on land. Hey, you hey, whoa, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Bro, bro, <laughs> listen. I, hey, 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 hold on. And this, this isn't even like a, wait, this isn't even like a dig at Nadia. Listen, I've seen professional players have the shaker on land. Like, hey, first land event, it happens sometimes. I've seen it. Not to me, though. Oh, but I've seen it. I've seen it. I'll never forget. I've seen it plenty of times, bro. Complexity, Mr. X was just parroting you. Pat was saying, Zinni, you're nervous. And Mr. X was going, Zinni, you're fucking nervous. <laughs> and he, everything you said, he would just echo louder. And Listen, I was sick maybe, dog, maybe the lights were in her eyes. Maybe the lights were in her eyes, man. It's very hard yeah. to play with the lights in your yeah. eyes. You know, it's Dude, not that easy. Light, that ring light did look bright. I'm not going to You know lie. what I'm can saying? We, can we circle back to something that Davis said about this team thing? Like, the most, you know what the most frustrating thing to me that we've missed for like a number of years since the CDL has not been around? Or since the CWL has not been around? Sorry. It well, again? I miss I miss the land boot <laughs> everything. <laughs> the land boot oh, camp. There's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff, bro. Like you go back, you go back to the tournament thing. I guess a lot of the land boot camp you're on bro, about. There, there's so many mini like product things that are missing, and boot camps are one of them. Though, like you think about now from like a from like a pure like upside to both practice and also like creating content that we just haven't had for like three or four years is actually wild to me um that they haven't been able to solve that problem Yo, but know, the like, land there's... boot camps are hilarious though because I, I bro i could name so many examples in cod where a better team boot camped a worse team and made that worse team so much better before a big event boot camp just one team though yeah, but I'm saying, like, I've seen that happen so many, even when it was, like, 14 boot camps, where, like, the only person who really, like, there is, n honestly, honestly, there was no point for a better team to boot camp with, like, worse teams. I One, agree. two, or three. There's zero you. logic. Yeah, zero logic. You're only improving your competition, and you're getting worse. Yeah. The last year we had boot camps, the team that finished first and second both went to boot camps, not the same boot camp, but they both went to boot camps before the event, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, who are you talking about exactly? Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Thieves went out to the LA boot camp, and E United was at the one at the Hex Quarters. What what game are you talking about? Black Ops 4 was the last time we had boot camps. Oh, I was at the one at the Hex Quarters. Yo, I was shitting on Optic, by the way, Davis. You were there. Dude. Uh, I, I wasn't, <laughs> Here I wasn't goes. watching your ass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there were so many other people there that I'd rather, you know, hang out with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I, I feel like up, I say bro. jokes. I, I, no I feel like I say jokes so sometimes, and you guys are, like, not reacting to them. I thought it was good. I thought it was good, Davis. I thought it was good. We might not, we might not be you. just used to your, your presence. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I appreciate the no, effort. No, Pat, wait. Were you really here? Yeah, when we <laughs> came, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, bro. That's the what they were like, bro. BO4. That was four years <laughs> ago now. There were like yeah. nine. That's why that there's not... so many PS4s still in there. Yeah, there were like 900 people here. That room had to be hot. That's my PS4 from there. Those PS4s were on fire, Doug, bro. Doug, Doug has the video being rendered right now. It said, clear cut 4K. Be ready. Get your popcorn. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> we ask him if he's joining. I, I, I think it, I think he's I also uh, joining us uh, tonight on the show. So I'm sure he he's got a lot to talk about. one of my favorite about. people in this world. We, uh, um, there's other stuff I wanted to talk about yeah, here. There's we didn't been, even uh, talk about the season stuff. Like, bro, let's, can you pull up that? Rosters and shit? We Wait, hold on. Before, before we get into that, Davis, you want to talk about this BO2 tourney? Oh, yeah, yeah, that tournament's uh, going to be fire. Yeah, October 15th, 16th is a, a charity tournament that we're doing here in uh, eSports e e Stadium. Uh, we got Black Ops 2 was the first time that there's been uh, spectators watching a Black Ops 2 tournament. Uh, four teams uh, for $25,000, best of sevens. I mean, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then there's also a Super Smash Bros. Melee tournament. Anything like old school, we're, we're trying to go to hit that nostalgia um, that, uh, bone. And so we're going with like a... You know, old school video games yeah. and then like an old MLG like, event with uh, Smash Bros. Yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How were these teams uh, uh, chosen? Like these these players? Like was there any like what criteria? I, so I chose two uh, two people per team, and then those two could choose whoever they wanted. Yeah, because okay. I remember it was, it was really it was really difficult doing the land last time just because of flights and who wanted to come, who didn't want to come, and people want. Some people want, you know, the old school teams to play together, and some people want new school players to play. 
and like it's just impossible to satisfy everyone yeah so i just like picked two people and i tried to pair like an old school guy with a new school guy or you know th that's what i tried to do um except killer and bows i mean that's just a fucking duo you have to have them again <laughs> unite yeah um that's so, a fire duo so yeah so they're they all uh i picked two two guys per team and then they picked their other two so those uh those team announcements will be coming out uh starting tomorrow i think yeah cool hell yeah and and it's all, it's for that. obviously every year i mean we do all the shit for uh for charity for men's health uh mental health awareness suicide awareness and pre prevention so that's what it's all coming down to and yes there if you can't come out please if you're in the, either one of our chats any of the chats if, if you're in the dfw area come on out hang out with us watch some black ops 2 watch some super smash brothers watch some pokemon card openings uh we're gonna have a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of fun uh but if you can't make it out then you know watch the watch the stream and try to get some people to, to donate it's, it's always a, always a lot that, of fun yeah, I fucking love that. ES, the food and drinks at esa is also very good so yeah it is love oh, that, getting... Davis. get a get a wave of spam get a lake get awards get show some little all these guys but it's always cool to see uh like these throwback tournaments and stuff especially in the off season because it's just dead Wait, you Davis, know it's dry Davis, you have your phone on you yeah. <clears throat> Just check it did, one did, second. Did the last one not have spectators? Am I tripping? Uh, I don't remember. Which one? The Black Ops 2? Yeah, the last BO2. No, the Black Ops 2 one. No, this is the first one that we've ever hosted with like Davis ticketed thoughts? spectators. Oh shit! So Ben, is this the format you want to talk about? The 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 major yeah, yeah, the I mean, major I stuff. Mean, we got Boston. We got out. we got Texas. Yeah. We got New York. Uh, we were starting off in rally, right? So that's gonna be pretty yeah. cool. Rally, 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 rally. Sorry, rally, so North rally. Carolina. Yeah. Sorry. So a lot, uh, a, a hey, gang. With... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think, I think I Yo, Blake, oh. Blake, hold, <laughs> hold on, real quick, bro. I gotta, I gotta go off topic because this blew my mind. Please, bro. I was getting a haircut. Um, I was getting a haircut. Hold on, let me go on Instagram real quick. Bro, you won't believe who who I ran into getting a haircut, bro. That I'm this... gonna know. Bro, is, is this it, Wilmington? No, 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 no. It was in, it was in, it was in Cary. Bro, I'm getting a haircut and I'm talking to the guy, okay. and he goes, and, I'm, and he was like, ask me what I do, and he's like, oh yeah, so you game? Yeah, I've cut a couple gamers before. Uh, you know, you know Blake? No shot, <laughs> bro. Wait, hold on, Aaron. Hold on, hey, did you go to Mr. Pompadour or Arrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Aaron. Yeah, it's Aaron. Bro, from I, bro, Mr. Pompadour? I was mind blown. Hell yeah, yeah I was mind blown, bro. What? Me and Hanks got the same barber, Y'all got the bro. same barber. That's <laughs> crazy. I feel like you, wait, wait. Bro, I feel like you guys aren't crazy. freaking out enough. Wait, wait, Blake, bro, Blake. Is there, bro, there's yeah, somebody in I my was... chat who who met you as well. You apparently you you he was at the wedding like not too long ago. Did he come up to you? Oh, is that Rob in chat? Yeah, I, dude. I, I, it's, I it's actually, who it was. He it's insane how many like optic and gaming and TST homies I meet because me and my wife still photograph weddings. So I show right. up as the photographer, and sometimes the groomsmen's like, "What the fuck, Blake?" Yeah, I'm like, no, What's like, up, homie? Somebody was in my <laughs> chat earlier today, and they're like, "Yo, like I went to a wedding and Blake was the fucking photographer. Like this that's shit was awesome. crazy." But yeah, it was Rob. It was Rob. Yeah, that was that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. It's such a small world, bro. You know, when it's I see crazy, when I man. see people in a chat, like, yeah, I was just taking, you know, I was at a wedding. Blake was there being a photographer. It was mind blowing. That's, that's cool, bro. Like, that's really God, cool. I, I love when those paths cross, and <clears> we got to talk. We got to talk shop about MW two for the whole time too. Me yeah. and Eggs got the same barber. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That, is that was wild. Crazy, yeah. I, bro. I, bro, it was random too. Like, I was just looking for someone to get a haircut, like from because I hadn't been here long. Like, this yeah. was um, this was a few months ago. And wait, uh, are you back in North Carolina? Yeah, I am right now. Oh, yeah. dope. And uh, and yeah, I was just like, I went and I was, we were just talking, and then he was all of a sudden talking about like, because I was a gamer, and he was just like, yeah, I cut like one gamer. He was like, uh, what's his name, Blake? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's so good. Oh, but... and I'm I, I'm excited for the next time I get to get a cut. Now let's move on a conversation. Yes. There's been some roster leaks, man. I don't know, Davis and Blake. I don't know if you guys want to stick around for some of these roster leaks. So we're gonna talk some rosters. Um, but the Vegas Legion. Uh, they leaked their roster. Uh, well, that, I don't know if they leaked it, but somebody fucking no, leaked it. It, it, got, it got posted on Desert, so it's it's out there now. And they, uh, it's crazy. They're still the disappointment of the league. They had such a good chance, bro. Mm -hmm. Wait, what, what do you guys? What do you guys think about the roster? Hey, what do you mean, Wait, Blake? What? Their whole brand, dog. Yeah, he's, uh, saying, he's saying he's saying he's furious. Yeah. Yeah, he's saying uh, you're saying there's a lot of potential there, and they're just they're not using it. It was it was such an opportunity for a fresh start, and for all of those players to really be like pumped about a whole new team and basically start a new chapter in the in that franchise, and yeah. it just didn't happen. Yeah. Also, Blake wanted them to be called like the the Vegas. I wanted some Vegas, Vegas shit, dude. You the had Vegas everything Bates in Vegas. Been hard. The Vegas what? 
the Vegas Spades or like the Go Vegas black and gold. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. What about the oh. Vegas Aces? The Vegas yeah. could have gone a whole yeah, like eighties Vegas old strip. That would have been fire. That would have been fire. But here I am. The Aces. Well, been that's what they went for. The start thing. The start thing is basically inspired on the Vegas. Oh, Aces is the WNBA team. I lost. I just didn't get the the name down, but I agree with you, Blake. Like it's it's disappointing. We're for now, at least for this year. I wonder if. Uh, I understand that doesn't matter in the long run. That's yeah. just one of the things I care about a lot. So. What do you guys think about uh, the roster? Clayster, here, Temp, TJ, and Prolu. So, inter my, here are my thoughts on the roster. It's actually two combo things. One might be a little bit of a, a hot take. Uh, like them bringing in Clay. Curious to see how him and Don work together. Two pretty <laughs> expressive people when it comes to team stuff. He's so going to be good at go, this game, too. He's going to be go, ratty as hell. Good or bad. I think Prolu and TJ is like, the sub duo is interesting. At least when we saw uh, Prolu play last year, he was better than AR than a sub. So, sub duo a little bit wonky. I'll say with the current fast TTK, and, and, and I'm obviously not a pro player, like, I was playing a lot with the MP5, and that thing beamed. I feel like if this meta carries on to game release, oh, like, ben, it's going to be... Ben, you were getting worked on, Ben. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you were I raging for stream. two hours, Ben, when I played. You were raging listen, for were two hours. Listen, listen. You were not watching me play Hardpoint on the weekend. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. What you got here? My bad, bro. My bad. Hey, take the, it the, easy, Ben. My the, bad. My bad. on stream if you want to take a peek, but... Uh, <laughs> that MP5 A-card was hitting. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, Yo. no, it's like, bro. Get, get the fuck out of here. Um, it's a, it was the Ben J. The scene lobbies. Listen, I'm just using the MP5 Iron Sights, and that thing's beaming across maps, so I feel like... Yeah, it is really good. I feel like it's a pretty sub-heavy meta, so this, this team will be interesting in that. Don can definitely run a sub, but... Um, this, this squad might need some upgrades on the SMG front to be a real contender, but it's an interesting decision they've gotten down to not really go for any real young challengers players and bring Clay in as Don is sort of the, like, I guess sort of the backbone emotionally of this team. Yo, you know skill-based matchmaking is crazy if Ben is beaming across Matt with the MP5. You know skill-based yeah, you know, skill matchmaking is crazy if you think this is a sub-meta, because besides, like, farm, yeah. you use, yeah, have you used the, uh, the, the scar, the insane. M scar? The M4 God, is unreal. Damn. Unreal. Bro, scar is great, but I'm telling you. Bro, if, if we is, have bro. to, like, do, we have to play with smokes, otherwise SMG stand no fucking chance. You no, just get better blown routes. away, dude. Uh, no, I mean, with slide, slide canceling gone, ARs are blessed. ARs are blessed, bro. Not only that, you get the bunny hop with the AR. The bunny hop with the AR is OP. Yeah, yeah, you see Austin, you say, yeah, we need to buff the subs. They were definitely too yeah, weak. Austin, Austin, don't worry about it. I love it. <laughs> He's leading in that shit. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm uh, curious to see how the balance is. When what, do you, uh, what do you think, Pat, uh, on the roster, what do you think? I mean, I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest, Tom. Uh, I waived my million-dollar fee uh, to help Don out. Mm -hmm. uh, briefly, you remember that? I came on stream yeah. one day. I waived the fee, helped Don out. And um, yeah, I, don't, I, I see maybe one name that was a part of uh, the roster construction that we did in the team speak. Um, so, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, I think this team could go either way. I don't, I don't really see them breaking into, like, T six at any point in the season, um, but anything Christ. after that's kind of just a toss up. Um, and I hate, I mean, I, I mean, I hate to say that, but like, um, just kind of reality at this point. With you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of talented players in the CDL. Um, and so yeah, I think I think to be honest, I, I would think this team's probably going to implode rather quickly. Um, maybe after an event or two, um, just based on personalities alone. And if they don't find the early success, you think they're going to implode? Bro. You think they're going to implode early? <laughs> I, implode by like just they're going to make a roster change early on. Bro, uh, you know what's going to happen this They year? also have to have a sub, right? Are they finally going to have an actual sub and not theory? I mean, they can still make their coach a right. sub. I yeah, they can still hope not. Your, your yeah. coach can still be your sub. That, that's honestly, that, that rule needs to, <laughs> well, to so change. Here, here's a weird. Okay, so this is a. So that point pat on the implosion thing again did, i'm really curious to see what happens Look, it's this year temp. don's in the chat obviously so we'll see what his thoughts this year is going to be kind of wild on what happens like during christmas and new year's because again the, the point of chris earlier in this call it's going to be real bumpy the first couple weeks after the game comes out for them figuring out the meta you're going to have maybe a couple of weeks of scrims and you cannot waste any of those practice dates. If you fall behind, you pull up to the first event and get smoked, like spots might be on the line. We might have like a serious roster mania literally at the end of December before even major one, uh, uh, major two happens. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, bro, I'm not saying this will happen to, to these guys because we're obviously on the topic of the Paris Legion, but in general, if I'm a team that struggles the first event and there is actually an outstanding like 
amateur that shows up to this program and it pro am is looking like scrappy do from uh the, the toronto academy this year like i'm taking a risk bro like it, immediately i'm not waiting no more like especially if somebody like comes out and is that good but um my take on the roster i'm not gonna be all doom and gloom here i, I like the combination of clay and temp i think when you pair strong personalities together um they can make some good things happen because you've seen it in the past with you know like you know back in the day with like people like aches and crim or even like when uh our phase red team was together with nah, me pat nah, slasher i'm not saying okay listen no, 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 pat and crim i'm not saying i'm not saying that's good, gonna happen i'm just saying like it can go yo don that's way good gas from Don, that that's aspect good gas. Chris is calling you me and Ghost and BO2. That's hey, no, good I'm gas. just saying you have good, strong personalities that good things can happen. Uh, it can go either way. Um, I'm excited to see TJ Halley get a little redemption story here. He's going to actually use a sub. Um, like I, you know, I think he should have been. Um, and then Pro League gets a little bit of redemption here again as well. But, you know, starting in the Pro League um, from the beginning, just like his, uh, you know, his duo from Challenger Spart, who also gets the start in the Pro League from the beginning. So, I mean, good on them. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see the dynamic and I don't think they can get any worse than they have been in the last couple of, uh, iterations. So I, think, I, I, I think do think the come upside down of this to the team, sub-duo. go ahead, Pat. I think, I think the upside of this team real quick, is just there. I feel like they're going to be a ratty team, bro. They'll be ratty for sure. That's what I said. Just Clay. Their roster, they yeah, they'll just be ratty. ratty. They do have yeah. a ratty team. It's, especially sure. in search, bro. Clay, like Clay they'll just be rat, annoying. Dude. Those Clay, pro loot. Clay Those is pro loot a rat. Sub. Especially how this game is played, right? With like the field upgrades and like the sound whoring and shit like that. Bro, I could just see them flourishing in that for sure. I feel like they have like a good set of players where it comes with like that ratty play style. And it starts with Clay. Like it starts with Clay at the top. You know, um, but we also got another team that was here. We got the London uh, Royal Ravens that got leaked. Um, sources oh, what, are what saying is, Zero, it? Nasty, Paul X, and Asim. So I'm guessing Dude, Zero on a main, real... Paul X on a flex, and then Nasty and Asim up top. What do you guys think about this one? Real interesting one. I don't think anyone saw Asim ending up on this team before Roster Mania started that. It was definitely uh, uh, came out of nowhere. Uh, really interesting squad. Uh, I talked about it in a couple of videos I put out. Even more interesting is I've heard that Scraps will be the substitute for this team. So like, no way, that'd be dope. Let's go, no he's way. Scraps. Baby. So, so you take that well, even we're further, and that's uh, I think Todd's probably heard similar. And it's like suddenly now you have this weird Black Ops Four phase vibe potentially going on this team. They want to make a change, uh, but I think to the interesting point, like this, this is an interesting squad. Do they have the talent of some other teams? Not necessarily. Do they have some players who have been inconsistent at times? Absolutely, but you know, a more clear direction on this team uh, and maybe a little bit more backbone potentially for this team because they, again, were really skilled last year, but against top teams and sometimes on land that, that um, promise they had online didn't really show. Yeah. Um, I personally like the team. We'll see how they end up meshing. I, I just think teamwork is going to be like the main thing with these guys. Like, I don't know how they're going to mesh together as a squad, but, it, but I mean, I'm, I'm getting the same vibe as you, that kind of Black Ops 4 phase uh, type of vibe. Um, obviously I'm not there, uh, but that's, uh, you know, when you're looking at the team, I definitely think Maddie's a really good sub to pick up too. I just like seeing, hearing Tank's name back in there, you know, getting Scraps' name back in there, I think is cool. Uh, what about, uh, Wu? Have you heard anything about Wu, Ben, or no? I've heard nothing, I've heard nothing about Wu attached to a team, but we'll see if he ends up on a challenger squad. I think on the Maddie front, like, that sub spot's a, a big thing. One, it, it kind of solves... You know, any visa renewal things he needs to sort through gives him time, again, to get, like, settled back in America. So I know he, he moved back to the U.K., get a Challengers team, get back up to speed. And I, I would say it's unlikely that this roster probably sticks through most of the season. Again, as we've seen throughout the life of CDL, 9 to 10 teams uh, each year making changes. Um, but uh, I like I like the potential direction for this London team. I thought they would go with a full U team after champs, they've now basically gone to a mixed NAU team, which I didn't really see coming. And bringing Paul back over to correct the mistake they made earlier in the year is big. Um, really interesting. And maybe an opportunity for Nasty to sort of develop on the squad with um, some different talent. Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm happy to see them finally mix it up from the just the EU team because I think at least prior to this year, um, 
now I think it's probably a little bit more viable. I think there's some really talented EU players out there that I guess they weren't able to get, or other teams ended up picking up. For example, like Wardy and uh, who else is uh, who else is really good? Like Beans, for example. I think he just got announced as like Boston He's sub. The Boston no sub. Um, um, but yeah, yeah no like way. so for example, like I don't think that there were, we were in a position <laughs> Did he where just say no way. I don't think we were in a position <laughs> where uh, we were able to formulate a completely full EU team that could be you know competitive. So I like that they finally strayed away from that, but. Um, honestly, I don't know how this roster is going to perform. I know like at their peak, some of these players are, are really good. We've seen ASM do it. We've seen Trey do it. And even Nasty had like, you know, a small stint where he was actually pretty good. And even and even Paul. But um, I think this game, if we're going back to like MW is going to formulate heavily on like strategy and stuff like that. I think S&D was the most consistent game mode in MW just because like there was a lot of strategy that you can have while as in like hard point. Um, and domination uh, were were a mess because of how the squad spawns Wait, and stuff a, like that is were. That, is that a true stat that S and D was the most consistent I, game mode in it, MW? It felt, it felt it felt like it was the most consistent to watch. Like like really? like the teams were like that were good were always like winning that game mode. Like I still remember going back to like the even the the world championship, dude. Like fucking uh, Ender, Shotzi, Empire. Those guys were disgusting at search in that game. Yeah, they were and that's like, that's, where, that's where they were taking uh they were taking maps off of. But we were also. From, I, I'm know. sorry. The S and D maps in Model for 19 were probably the worst I've ever seen. We were playing Piccadilly, Arklov Peak, Saint Petrograd. But 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 from a strategic Arclaw perspective, Peak was like the best one, and that's saying but something. But from a strategic <laughs> that perspective, dude, yeah. think about that, bro. <laughs> Grant, How did my Grant, gun run around? Granted, the game. Yeah, gr- granted, you know, you, we might not have agreed with the maps or the design philosophy. Like, just because I played in that game in Challengers, and I know it was a completely different environment. That game relied so heavily on like strategy with your throwables and your trophy placements in certain rounds and and stuff like that. That literally like were winning you games. Like, if you didn't have a trophy for certain rounds, you like you were chalked. Like, you lost a round essentially like that. Like, there were certain things that you had to do. Um, and certain strategies that you had like that that were really good because of the throwables because they were effective in that game. Mm-hmm. Like in, in comparison, you go to like a game nowadays where you have flak and tack on all the time, and and uh, it, it's just a completely different environment. So I don't know. I I, I think from the perspective of strategy and teamwork, this game is going to be just kind of like MW from that aspect. So uh, even though we we're like, oh, this team's not the most talented. Um, I think that some of these teams with you know veterans or smarter players, for example, like Clay, um, could really do something on this game. Yo, Davis and Blake, what do you guys think about the roster? You guys fuck with the roster or no? Uh, the, the London nah, roster. I think it's I think it's got a lot of potential, um, and I I, th- I think it's you know, but but then again, like it might not work. <laughs> it might not work, is what you're saying. Right. Yeah. I mean, there, that's. Only, I feel like that's a lot of teams, right? Like they they look good on paper, but you just don't know how they're gonna play with each other. Like I, you, it's hard to tell. Obviously, we're gonna have to wait till the game drops. But go ahead, Ben. Yeah, I'm saying like this. The difficulty for Paris, for London, for Florida is like there were a lot of other players that these teams were talking to, and those three teams were not high on their list. And some of the players on their list even chose to go to other teams to be a substitute because they had to conference those teams and make changes on the line. They felt like those situations were better. So it's not like London had like the Minnesota pick of the litter where you could just rip all three of the top free agents and say, I built a super <clears> team. Yeah. London's got to go with a different route. I'm actually kind of tip London for not trying to do to your point, Chris, like we've been saying, trying to be EU's second best team. is just not going to get you W's. You need mm-hmm. to bring in some NA talent that can help you on that front. And I'm glad to see them bringing Paul back, um, taking a, uh, a run with ASIM. And I, I think LAG selling him is probably still not their best move, but we'll see long-term if that works out. I like the moves from London. Do they have the talent of other teams? No, but could they overperform their potential? Absolutely. And then uh, we talked about Florida in the last episode a little bit, but we could talk about them a little here. I personally, like, the roster on paper didn't look good to me. Like, it, it just didn't seem like... Good it's a good search team. Yeah, I was going to say the, the only thing that I said is, like, it kind of gives me, like, a Gen G type of vibe. Um, like one, Brack like, is going to be a beast or, or, or like a, uh, Or, like, a Midnight type of vibe. Like, a Gen yeah. G Midnight type of... You know what I'm saying, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I think... Um, they could be good. They made out with better than i expected Mm -hmm. because i thought when i going into the ross romania and them just not being a desirable location and them losing their superstars that they were fucked and um on paper at least role wise the roster looks good and um 
from S and D perspective, um, these guys are going to be really good at search. If like their trajectory as search players is always, you know, is, is still there because this Cole, is another really good game. at S and D. Yeah. Brack really good S and D major maniac. Also really good S and D and Vickle. Um, I don't know as much about him as the rest, but uh, he's he did pretty well in challengers really last smart. year. Right. So, um, like I said, I, I agree with you, Tom. I think this is give me the midnight slash Gen G type of vibes where they, like, it doesn't matter if like these guys aren't the most notable names and stuff like that. If they all play to their potential and mesh, it doesn't matter. It's teamwork. It's Call of Duty. It's simple. Um, they can right, maybe make some uh, make some upsets happen. Yeah, well, we're also I'm playing. Keep a, you know, mentioning this on the flank until after the event, and which then I'll be tipped for this. Don't be surprised if like a team like Florida gets T4 at like the first event because they're a team that's hungry. They have a chip on their shoulder. They're going to grind early to everybody's point. They're going to be good in S and D uh, purely on like the S and D talent, this team. Uh, and they can parlay that to like a really good start. Do they have the talent of other squads? No, but like you to the Gen G point, no one would have said at the beginning of the year that Gen G is like a top three team, but they consistently place well because they outwork teams in uh, black ops four. And this could be one of those squads potentially. Uh, and then you just move uh, the conversation on. Pat, did you want to add anything to that? No. No, okay. definitely not. Fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then uh, the other thing uh, I wanted to talk about was Big P, man. Gunless, man. Um, I'm going to give my guy a substitute spot, yeah, please. Yeah, I feel bad for Gunless. That's man, actually I, crazy, bro. Because he, he, he got sick and it, he ended I up losing understand. his spot. I don't understand it, though. Because there are other Canadians, too, that live in Canada that, like like royalty and exotic and they play in challengers. I wonder what's different about their situation compared to Pierce where it's like they can come here and compete and he can't. Like, like I doubt they have visas. Well, there are, there are Canadian players in the past that have run into visa issues. Like we named like ASIM situation from a couple of years ago. Like that, that like had to get... <laughs> Well, hold on. Well, actually, hold on. Let me rewind. Stole. Hold on. Hold on. Let me yeah. rewind. The fact that Gunless is not starting in the league is a serious fucking problem. Wait, what, what's the last COD title he he was playing in the league in? This, this past year, and he got sick, so unfortunately yeah. he couldn't play. But the fact that he... Uh... He lost his spot because of a sickness, and then he just yeah, never got you back kinda, in. You, you kind of touched on it in the, in the inner circle. It's like when you get pushed out, regardless of why you get pushed out, it's Terrifying. so hard to get back in. No, dude, it's very hard. Because it's all, it, I mean, it seems political -ish. Every, Everybody, it, it's and... political. It's it's why would we, I think I use like God or X as an example. Because, I mean, he was Saul when he was in the league. Um, like no one even mentions his name anymore. No matter how well he's doing because he is now like a known variable. Whereas everybody now is looking for like that unknown yeah. variable. Try, who trying like to find a new young can, can be that next Bro. guy. Like, oh, this guy's 19 I don't, I don't and... I think the known variable thing is, is honestly not as big a deal as just having a rapport with the players in positions that can get you on teams. Like, like I, from a, even if even if you use the known variable argument, like I still think Pierce is better than a lot of players at his like Correct. baseline known amount of skill um, compared to some of the people who got roster spots. I, I, I think it's literally just having a rapport and a friendship with players in positions at teams who can get you on fucking roster spots. And I just don't feel like he has any. I think like <clears throat> him going through what he did at LAG, kind of like that alienation after he got sick, stuff like that. And his friend group is kind of like, <clears throat> I mean, honestly, it was like the RCs and like the some of the phase guys, the OD United squad. And I feel like those people just aren't around in positions to get him teams. And so, I mean, he's kind of at the at the point where it's like, he doesn't have any like real friendships and relationships that can just get him on a team. Because... To me, I mean, if it comes down to skill, there's no shot some of these players should be in this league over him. I agree. I, especially I, I knowing, like, especially knowing he's not, like, demanding, like, you know, the same type of contracts that, like, Krim or Clay is, right? It's He, he probably would play for a min just to yeah, renew his visa and be in the league. So 300K, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it's just it's just one of those things where it's just, like, I, mean, I just think have to have a, a relationship. Spot right now. So, I, I, I think he'd take I mean, anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I agree. But I think he should be a starter, like, looking at who other I, starters I, are. I agree with you. Well, I mean, well, let's take it a step further. I know his tenure uh, on this franchise didn't go too well the first year of the CDL, but like if you're Optic and you're worried about the inner situation, Pierce is someone in that could professionally fill that spot with like five hours notice. Pierce would be a potential good spot for a sub. I know obviously the backside of that is his tenure on Optic did not go particularly well last time. 
but I agree with you. I think I think he definitely is. When was he on Optic? Oh, Huntsman, Huntsman. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah I, that, that was basically real Optic. That was a sick yeah. brand. Yeah. Mm, uh, you, don't like, uh, you don't like Optic Texas? I do, but Huntsman was also dope. R real Same quick. with Empire. Mm. Uh, unless I'm faded. Did Doug not say he was coming on here and then just never showed up? I'm uh, telling dude, you, I know it's a sham. It's, no, it's all a, a YouTube. sham. He tweeted out, no, he tweeted out my video. stream. He, yeah, he tweeted out the stream and said he was coming on to break it down, and just he just never him. showed up. I just, I, I just texted him. He said he's coming. Get, I just get him in him. here. Get him in here. He's coming. He's on the way. He we, said. We've been live for like two hours, so we better get in here quick, or this is going to be like a sick Yeah, I'm starving. It's been a good show, though. I've been having a lot of fun. It was a great show. Yo, what are you going to eat? I don't even know. Another thing so I know, wanted we to uh, even talk about the events. We were going to talk about it like an hour ago. I mean, there's what do you want to talk it. about? Ben, did they announce nah, nah, where the, the well, locations? I, I wanna, hold on. I actually locations were great. Let's yeah, yeah. Ben wants to talk about the convention centers, bro. No, no. Well, I want to talk about two things. One is the locations are good. We're getting New York back, which is good. We're getting obviously ESA and Boston, Arlington back, which is good. Boston's a new one, which is awesome. Where your winter coat event ever? I think in. Uh, Boston and Boston's a really cool city if you all have ever visited. Uh, but the first event in Raleigh, kind of a spot you wouldn't expect. I think the biggest thing actually about Major One uh, is that it's paired with uh, Code Bowl, which is a, a fundraiser for the Call of Duty Endowment. And that's usually a very influencer heavy driven event. There's going to be COD Mobile Championships going on there. Like that first event's going to have a lot of eyeballs and a lot of people in the room for, which is exactly what we've been asking for for a number of years to make that like first event a banger that counts. Like this year, we're getting that. So I'm super Three excited. Three East Coast events and one Central. Uh, That's the uh, big takeaway. Honestly, with how much space there is at this event, you got to think that they let us have an IRO flank at the venue. You, gotta, you know you what I'm saying? That, uh, I I'm tried, man. I really tried. <laughs> yeah, I've been, know, I've been, be I've been begging behind the scenes. That shit would go crazy. Crazy. No, we're, it's we're, weird. We're, 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 the YouTube he's connected the, to the Chiefs. Uh, connected to the Chiefs. The, the, there he is. The YouTube Twitch thing is the biggest problem holding us back from the venue. That's the biggest problem. That's that's at least well, from listen, talking we, behind we, the scenes. You know. We should do it. Even if we're not in the venue, Tom, we should do a show in Raleigh. Hold like, on. Look it, who's in the waiting room below us. We we y'all can, can just do it at Blake's so. house. I'm down, bro. I'm Blake, down. can we come uh, through? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies and gentlemen. We have to also figure out another thing about this event, too. Davis, uh, this is one you and I are probably going to talk about. What do we do about the World Cup for that event? It's the same. It's the last week of the World yeah, Cup. No, like we're going to have to do something that for that. Bro. Oh, yeah. yeah we got to do something for that. We have I'm, to. Bro, I'm, I'm, so I'm a U.S. stand for this World Cup, too. I am I am begging people at Activision, like, personally, to be like... All right, Doug, bring it down. Of college, Sunday of that first event, like, needs to be a World Cup. Doug, you actually got venue. something? Oh, yeah. 100%. Bring it down, <laughs> Doug. Doug. Break, <laughs> break it down. I mean, you want me to, yeah, you Tom, want me to pull it up? The, you got the yeah, link, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm going to pull up the doc for you, uh, Doug. Okay, okay, so two uh, things, two wait, things wait, before we start. Wait, can you link it in the chat There's so we two can things, see it? Two things before we start. I uh, intentionally I blocked out. I specifically blocked out the cheating website because I don't want to promote them. If you guys want to know who it is, I can tell you off stream, but I'm not trying to promote a cheating website because I just think that's for gays. Yeah. Um, so what we did basically is my buddy created a program in order to search up cheaters who use a specific cheating website which i'm not going to say the name of it and anyone who downloaded cheats off this website from january 1st until today can be found any of them like you can <laughs> oh, literally like search them up and you can find them so this video i sent to you tommy is like a four minute video of us well him and i was just in accord with him basically making a brand new account going on this website that he knows that has the cheats injecting the cheats on his account and before he does that he searches himself up on his own partition that he used you can't find his name. You can't find the burner or whatever account he made. It's not there. He launches up Vanguard with the cheats. Then you go back and you search in the database, and it's right there. It's literally right there. So, so what, is this, what is this What is this? video on, that you sent me? Who did you find? Me? Wait, Doug, tell me there's some like, notable names that you found. <laughs> well, this is – okay, so this only is Vanguard, and we're working on Warzone as we speak. But he's going to make the Warzone one. Dog, Vanguard right now. Get... Oh, my God. Anyone, anyone who cheated in Vanguard from January 1st until now – Anyone, multiplayer, ranked, anything, their fucking name will pop up on this thing. Oh dude. my god, that is so, so, hidden so, wait, wait, so what is this like a, through that one website? Is this a PowerPoint? <laughs> no, yeah, it's not a, all of them. It's it, a video? It's lit yes, you could, you I don't could have scroll access. through it fast. Essentially what it is is hold on, I'll give you access, Pat. Essentially all it is, he literally created a program in order to search. And I want him to join the TS. I gave mm -hmm. him the info. I want yeah. him to explain how he could connect his program <laughs> to the cheating website because that's the only thing that i'm not smart enough to explain 
But I watched him do this whole thing. I've sat in courts with him for hours. What's He's his done name? A lot Doug? of work into this. He doesn't want to say his name. He's once her name. He wants anonymous, to be anonymous. But... It's mm, fucking snowed. That's typical. Is he gonna come in here with a voice changer? Is he gonna come in here with a voice changer? How did you find him? I met I met him through playing COD every day. So, he is not joining with a voice changer. Wait, 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 hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You met a random guy in rank play who you who you hooked up with after you got off about finding hackers? No, no, that's not how I went down, Pat. No. That's what you just said. You you met him in COD. I met him in COD, yeah. That's all I'm this gonna say. This guy's gonna pull up with the laughs and hidden fucking. So do you questions. want me to pull it up? You want me to pull up the video, Doug? The video's in like 360p because Yeah, I can't even play right. it on my screen. Okay. Doug, what's the problem? No, it's <laughs> you, Doug. Hold on. My question to you, Doug, is in order to validate this, like, is this person willing to, like... Wait, this is like a Boston Breach, like, marketing oh, yeah. fucking thing. <laughs> it's like a, it almost says, yo, like, but my question to you, Doug, is, like, are they willing to, like, publicly put out the source code? Because it's, like, how are you supposed... Like, if it's just going to spit out this person's been, like, indexed or whatever, how... Do, like, there's no proof. It's just one line on a command on a program, like... You know, oh, what, Pat, that, there you are. You made your, the video. Your, your question, the way your your way your has been is way above my pay grade, bro. <laughs> but I, I've sat I've sat in for hours watching this go down and how this works, and it's very very foolproof, honestly. Wait, wait, hold on. So, do you have any names, Doug? Yeah, because I can't see shit, Doug, in this video. I'm gonna be honest, I can't see any anything. Any notable wait, why players? Isn't that, no, any this is, challenger this is, gamers? Hold on, wait, wait, we gotta we gotta hold on, we gotta back this up. This video on my PC is in perfect quality. That video looks like dog shit. Refresh the so, refresh the page, maybe. Uh, okay, I'll try refresh. No, let me let me try Dropbox. I'll drop it in Dropbox yeah, real quick and send you a link. Drive is probably still processing. No, because this this video yeah. needs to be in quality. Like, Wait, real real quick though, Doug. This. I, I understand this process, but do you have actual names yet? Any literally any name who downloaded cheats on Vanguard. I that's literally. Not, it's not no, his no, question. That's no, no, no. Any like, cheat or just who, from this website? From this one website. Anyone who downloaded cheats off Vanguard off this one website since January first. Who no, can no. you name right now that we would know? It, I'm not gonna it, say names right now. Why? <laughs> that's the whole typo? point of this this program. I need to know. Here. Is, is it names? Is, is oh, it I'm names that we know? Staring at chat. It's all, it's all, I started with ranked play players in Vanguard because that's what I've been playing every day. I haven't even looked up challenger players yet. Nah, there's got to be some ranked rats. Try that. Okay, this is better. This is better, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is You DM it me, Doug, on Twitter real quick. Can you DM me? Yeah, I got you. And I'll pull it up real quick, but this is much better. The quality, you can actually see this. Nah, if there's any challengers, that would be crazy. Drop them names immediately. Let's go. That would be crazy. Okay, well, let's take a look at this and see if we can see. Wait, it, so tell me when you want to do it. I'll 3 2 one it with you and I'll explain what's going on, like as it's playing. Okay. Because I have a good understanding of how this works, but how the program is created and how it's cross referenced to the cheating database, which is what you're asking, Ben, is the person who made this. Right. I might I want zero, him to Doug. come on and explain that. Okay. Count it down, three, Doug. Two, one. 3 2 one, go. Okay. All right, so as you can see, he made a burner Jesus. called, he made a burner called Spook, go. like just a random name, right? So this is his hex dump parser. Essentially, the way he described a parser to me is that if you interlock your fingers, this could like straighten out your fingers. So it's basically like a searching pause, mechanism. Pause. What, what database is this trying to index though? This is from the cheating website itself, which well, I'm not going to say on stream. What, what values are in, like what, what is in that? Like, what are That's a question yeah. for the guy who's going to join the okay. team speak. I don't, I don't have the answer to that. Is but he joining? He, he's going to join, yeah. But let me explain this video because it's four minutes and then we'll have him join after. So yeah. he made a new account and you could just believe me or not believe me. I don't really care, but this is what happened. And then he's going to explain the nerdy stuff. He made a brand new account, called it Spooked. You search, it's not popping up anywhere. You could scroll a little bit faster through this time because this is like a minute and a half. He's essentially searching through this out. right now. Okay, he's searching through it right now and Spooked isn't going to pop up. It's just not going to be there because there was never any cheats downloaded on Vanguard on this account because he hasn't injected any cheats onto this account yet. Okay. So this is essentially like what we were trying to prove with this video here. And again, like when it comes to the names, like Tommy, Pat, whoever, we mm -hmm. can figure out any of the names. I just wanted to make sure the shit works perfectly before we did that. Right. But how, so you don't have any names yet. I have names of players that cheat in rank play. Like I already exposed one of them on Twitter, but <laughs> like I, I've only like I've only been grinding rank for ten hours a day, going to hot yoga in the gym, and then getting off every day. So I haven't really given my full effort to this yet. Hot so, yoga. Hold on. So is it just looking for usernames on the cheat website? Because what's stopping someone from like impersonating someone and downloading cheats and? Well, it gives the actual Activision fingers. ID as well, the specific ID wow. of the Activision. Okay. If you use this cheating website, specifically this cheating website, it will give the exact Activision ID. Is, so is I just back it up, website like a real popular up, one? Uh, yeah, it is. That's why I blocked oh, it with you, Pat. Is, is Back it up right there, Tom. Time out. Is it the yeah. Activision ID that's registered on the website or actually using the cheats? Actually that, yeah. using the cheats. Literally <laughs> using okay. the cheats itself. And that's what you're going to see here. So if you go to the end, right here, pause it. You see how it says spooked is not available? Like you can't see spooked? 
Like go to the bottom there and then pause it like at the very bottom when it's like in red. Okay, I'll wait till it pops up. But what does that mean? Spook not available. What does that mean? Essentially, it's, it's, it's not cheating, right? Like the cheats haven't been downloaded, so it's just not there. Activision ID spooked could not be found in any partition. That's what it says. Yes. Okay. So listen, I'm very, very confused. I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand any of this shit. Like I'm. I, I, I do you guys I'm get gonna it? have him explain. I'm gonna have him explain this to you because this is very complex. Dude, if he joins with a voice playing. changer, I will lose I'm it. Way, yeah, I'm way too so confused drag, on that. I'm not good with this shit. So drag the XOXO name into here, and he's just gonna stay um, muted for a second. There like, he he's is. The guy who, he's the guy who created this. I got him. So I got him. Leave, I'm gonna drag him in. Don't. I'm not gonna say his name, but don't talk for a sec. So basically, are we just calling him X? You yeah, can we'll call, call him. him. <laughs> we'll call him X. Okay. We'll call, we'll him, call X. him X. So okay. So as you can see, Spook cannot be found in any partition. So simply put, he's not on this thing, right? He's gonna explain this all to you because I'm not smart enough to do this. He is. He's the one who created this. Now go keep playing the video. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. All right. X, what's going on? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's watch this. Okay. So it says in general. No, man, stop. <laughs> right, stop. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. No, this is important. This is important. So obviously, like, that's no the cheating way. program. Wait, let me explain it. Whatever right, ahead, Doug, that ahead. was right there, that was him injecting the tweets. As you see on the top right, that's his account spooked. Right? He injected the cheats. He hit play now on Vanguard. Yeah. You just scroll. You could scroll through this if you want. Okay. We could sit yeah, here or whatever. I'll just go through it. I'll scroll through Ricochet it. Ricochet anti-cheat. What a fucking okay. great anti-cheat Lo that he loaded, is, bro. He's loading into the Jesus. game. Okay. He's on, he's, he goes into multi Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now you're in multiplayer. Fantastic. He brings up this fucking. This so now he's, he's injected the cheats. So now. Stop saying injected, bro. Just say installed. <laughs> he injected the tweet. He, he literally injected the cheats. So now he's going to search for his name immediately after injecting the, che the cheats. And you're going to see in about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds or so, the fucking exact name with the Activision ID <laughs> through this cheating website. Literally. Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit here until it pops up. Okay, so right there, when it says current index found, what is this? He has a lot of answers for you, man. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love that. He's got a lot of answers for you. I don't know if we're going to understand a single word he can no, say. I, you know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, optimist. I, 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 no, optimist. Talk, talk again real quick. Like, I kind of understand what's going on here. Sounds like fucking Bumblebee when he talks like the radio. And he's like switching <laughs> stations. So right here, what is this, Doug? What is this? This is, this is, uh... That's the specific Activision ID that launched Vanguard with the cheats. Okay, so... Clearly, the program works. And there's their subscription to the website. I assume is the third column. Has so the website, funded. I'm not, I'm not trying to say the website and promote it, but it's, it's a pretty credible, like, it's obviously like one of the biggest cheating websites. Credible is not the right word to use, but. So question one, because Pat, I'm sure you've got a bunch of questions. <laughs> uh, what is stopping this cheating website from like closing what is clearly like an API loophole, allowing you to just like pull information from an endpoint or straight from, I guess, their database on their website. Uh, is that X, a question for him? X, or, I believe it's a question he, he for your X, this, or, he, yeah. he literally created this, so he yeah. made this I think, himself. I think X needs to talk now. I think X needs to talk because we're, we're, we're confused. What's up, X? What's going on? Doing perfectly fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so, Ben, ask your question <laughs> so, so we can... So, I got a couple of questions. Uh, of course. Question one, <laughs> what is stopping this cheating website from, like, closing the loophole that's allowing you, or loophole or the API that you're triggering here, to actually be able to build this tool? Like, what's stopping them? Because you're going to build their business a bit now. This was not publicly known information until of this point right now. So nothing is stopping them from this point on of just completely stopping everything and completely recoding and obfuscating their database. Okay. My Yo, real, real quick, real quick, but before you go, is there any other um, voice changer saying? you can use? Is there any other one? <laughs> that, no, this is the, this, we, look, that's why I took we so tried long, multiple. We're... None of them worked. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Dude, I feel I like mean, I did acid. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me let me let me get through two more questions. My uh, name is Matt Dish, and this is X. Uh, Sorry. Right, go ahead, Ben. Go ahead, ask your question. Qu question question two is like on the front of the tool. Why why is it so slow to search through the database on this website, like to get a query from it? Why is it not like instant within a second? Uh, these are divided into multiple different partitions that I joined into one with my string splitter. This is written in hex, and you need a debug tool, which is the one that I made to skirt or index through any given values. Uh, hold on, I don't, I don't, I'm a little confused. So, you're you're essentially querying a web, a cheating, a cheating website. You scraping it, or is it like literally a backend access or some other endpoint straight into their database? This is a complete backend access. 
So I, that's why I'm confused about the multiple partitions because it, there exists probably some semblance of a database and you should be able to query through an endpoint. So why, I'm confused about the multiple partitions thing if you can kind of explain why that's necessary. Not all partitions are obfuscated the same. I only have most of them. I do not have all of them. I assume that the rest of them are uh, served for like yearly members, private members, or those that need vouch codes from other cheating websites or people that need to review their cheats. So there are potentially people like the, you, there are potentially false negatives in this tool. Not for false you. negatives, but there is definitely people that have used it that are not on here. Okay. I cannot physically pull all of it, but from all of that I can pull, it is there. Okay. And then my last question is like, are you willing to publicly put out the source code for this tool so people could verify that it's like legit, that it's legit querying the site, obviously that has other implications, but that way, like, and assuming that this gets released and people start getting accused, there's a, there's a way to validate that this is actually real. Yes. All of the repositories will be open at public on GitHub. Perfect. That's Wait, all the questions. I, I use GitHub to overclock my controller. Interesting. Are you website. cheating? I fucking, I hope not. I played like ass for a second. <laughs> no, long, long story short, like the, the way it all started, there's people that cheat in rank play that it's pretty obvious. Like if you just look at my social media and I play against them for 10 hours a day and they piss me off because I know they cheat. And it gets to the point where it's like, it's like you got to almost like feed into the troll of it because it's like you can't stop it. I literally have direct <laughs> contacts to Sledgehammer who ban people. I just give the Activision. They run it through their ricochet, whatever fake like their their anti cheat sucks for Vanguard multiplayer ranked. It's horrible, but I give it to them. They'll manually ban them, and it just got so overwhelming to the point where it's ridiculous. Now this person literally created his own tool to do it. I was obviously skeptical. I looked into it more, did more research, and I was like, okay, this is pretty pretty clear cut. Now what he just showed you guys on this stream is pretty extraordinary in my opinion because he made this himself. And he literally foolproofed it himself. And there's people who I knew 100% were cheating and ranked that showed up when you searched their name. There's a lot of names on this list. There's some names of people that I really like that were on this list. And I haven't no. even addressed that yet, honestly. Like, I, I, yeah. I haven't even had any time to because I'm trying to focus on the Nadia content for Friday. But there's literally people, like, <laughs> oh, you can literally shit. search people up. So it's not like when I said I had a list, it's not like a literal Word document list where I could just link you and you could just search through it and, oh, this guy's cheating. Oh, let me control left, find this guy's cheating. No, you manually search the name from this cheating website from January 1st to now on Vanguard specifically. Do you have uh, to once, search the name? Did you have to search you could search you don't have to, or is there like a list like can you scroll I could just search through methods. and like look at people I could type methods at M -E -M -E -M -E -T -H -D -Z. like and there will be a bunch no, no there will be a few that pop up like who it won't be your... who was being accused of cheating this year in the CDO? uh cold havoc so the only issue pat is that this is from January 1st and it's only for Vanguard and it's only for this one specific cheat program so like wait if... but hold on Doug when you said searches their name are you using a uh, like how does it search? Because you, I see in the on the video, it only shows like the like spooked, for example. What about the Activision ID? That's a, that's a great question. So if you search like for example, there's an Abizi in rank play that cheats. It's not obviously Tyler. It's a fake Abizi. If yeah. you use this partition and you search Abizi, you will see any Abizi and any Activision IDs that have used this specific thing. So if there's like one ABZ there, it will be the one ABZ that's in rank play cheating. It won't be Tyler's Activision ID. It will show the actual numbers. All you have to do is just type the name. You don't have to type the Activision ID numbers because it will literally search it through you using the cheats on your own Vanguard account. So if any, if any, if you ever use this cheating software and you launch Vanguard with this cheating software once, it will pop up in this software if you literally search you, the name. What if you change? Oh, what oh, if oh. you change your Activision ID because you can easily do that on the uh, Call of Duty website? You just go there, change Ask it, X, and it insta, it insta changes. You listen to so, next. So, so you're pulling from the cheating website that's getting Activision ID when the cheats are linked, correct? Is that essentially how this is working? The specific yes, ID. and the Activision ID is only given when it is injected into your PC and Vanguard loads. You're creating there's no way for someone to like sign up no. and be like Zuma and no. know Tommy's Activision ID and then that the, way he gets false flagged. The only way that could happen is if someone injected these cheats on Zuma's PC. Because like I said, this gets your Activision ID from injecting, not manually typing in the website. Can you search Biffle? Did I just get exposed? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally have real quick. Wait, hold on, bro. You know, you know how people like, oh, search this, search that. Like, bro, I've gotten so many people hitting me up about this. The first priority I had, keep my number one rank spot. The second one, make sure this video is clear. Because this video, like, I'm telling you, man, this kid is a genius, and like that that video foolproofed it for me. And I know you guys are getting overwhelmed with like small things right now and a lot of different things, but no, that, that's just Ben asking some weird fucking no, it's, 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 right no, no, it's no, perfect, no, it's, it's perfect. perfect. Like, like the, the more, rest. wait, the more how, how did y'all y'all met playing ranked? Yeah, actually, honestly, are you a hacker? A friend, honestly, a friend of a friend. I've been penetration testing for a while. I wouldn't You've necessarily what? say. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily deem it as hacking, but as far as malicious intent, no. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Tommy's face <laughs> is comedy, bro. Bro, this is the funniest thing ever. Hey, X, let me ask you this: Can you expose war zone people too? Because Joe Wo's in a chat right now. He's nervous right now. He's nervous. He th he's, he thinks he's fucked. Sadly, this is only for Vanguard as it's a much smaller player group and counts. And that's why I think there was less security deemed towards it, even though this is a very secure based cheap provider and has been undetected forever. But even though we only could get Vanguard, we're working on Warzone soon. Oh, so you are working on Warzone soon. Like you'll have it soon. Do you have like an ETA on when, when you'll be able to, to see who's cheating in Warzone? Uh, seeing that Warzone 2 is coming out soon, I have no clue. Damn, okay. So, how, Doug, how the fuck do you have shit on Naughty? If, 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 you know what I'm saying? I, you know? Like, how, how, I mean, it's, how, how it, it's basically what It's basically what I said to you last night. I mean, to, to prove that Nadia is 100% indisputably cheating is, is going to be almost damn near impossible. Like, you would literally need to use this partition, Search Trooper Activision, which only works on Vanguard, and no one's ever created a program like this before. And like to find a cheater to find like this is literally foolproof 100% how to find a cheater. This hasn't been done. So if you want to find if Nadia is 100% cheating, I can tell you right now on my video, I can't give you 100% 4K Nadia is a cheater. And my goal isn't to say Nadia is a cheater and here's why. So if people are looking for that, that's not what my video is for. It's to make the most credible video on information on how people get to the level they get to, why and why people feel this way about it, why she feels that way about it, and what the actual truth is with what we know. I'm not sitting here like a bad boy beaming YouTuber saying, fuck this girl, Nadia, expose this girl. Like, I don't give a fuck about her like that, honestly. I'm only trying to do the right thing here and get more information yeah. and more light on this to inspire people to actually do things like this guy is. I just, I just feel like with Nadia, like... It's kind of like what Pat said. I just don't think Activision would have invited her to an event if she was cheating. You know, like I feel like they have no, all that information. Bullshit, bro. You no, think they don't so? give a fuck. No, I don't think they give a fuck, honestly. Nah. And I think what Ben what? said also. You I think, think so? No, I think. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, if they can't detect Vanguard cheaters in rank play and I have to manually submit them, they don't fucking know who's cheating or not. They definitely don't. I know they don't. Because And that ricochet shit don't work. And and the counter argument, like how Ben said, it was a great point. Oh, if they don't invite Nadia, it's not going to look good. So if we don't have 100% proof that she's cheating or not, just bring her in here, right? Like, that's how I would see it in my head. Is she cheating? I don't freaking know. Is she really suspicious? Absolutely. freaking lutely And if anyone says she's not, I think you're kind of delusional. And I'm not here to I'm not here to like ruin her parade or stop her momentum. If anything, talking about her is just gonna get her more engagement anyways. So um, again, like my goal isn't oh, she's milking the Nadia's cheating. Nadia's a shit. cheater. I gotta expose her. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck about her like that, bro. I'm trying to win a ring, dude. <laughs> I mean, she she she's definitely milking the whole cheating thing, but. Like I don't think it's that crazy. It would be that crazy if she wasn't cheating. Me, per like personally. I mean, she, bro, she's playing Warzone. It's fucking. I don't know. I, I apparently these VPN things are pretty common in Warzone. Like I feel like a lot of the times they're just in like some of these players are just in bot lobbies, and like it's pretty easy to look like a good player in bot lobbies compared to when you go up against like you know the best of the best or going up you know like you know like she she like she she could just be like good at cod bro like she's just good she's just good at cod and maybe she just like if anything it might just be like vpn bot lobbies that are just like you know she's just like taking advantage of but i don't think she's the only one doing that if that's the case i mean all of them do it every one of them do it with the vpn stuff oh yeah dude like 90 percent of them do it I have I don't know anything about that shit to be honest with of you. Of course, I, mean, I, 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 mean, I know I mean, a lot like, about let's it. Be, let's be straightforward. Like, if, uh, let's just let's just do the hypothetical here. If you're someone who is career <laughs> to go on Warzone and fry, why would you not VPN so you can get bot lobbies and look better? Make content. Lobbies. People want to tune in and you make better content. It makes sense. Do I agree with the exercise? Like, no, but I could see why they do it. 
Well, yeah, Scraps, Scraps put up a good point. He says she's playing Warzone. All right, anyway, the game so plays yo, for you. Yo, here's X, what needs to happen question. next. There needs you, to be a list of top ranked players from this past season and challengers players or... Fuck, maybe there's a pro. There needs to be a list of cross confirmed check. cheaters. Well, the, the only issues in is that this is only one cheating program. So, like, if they did cheat, they could be using a different program. That's the biggest counter. Yeah. But obviously, I'll run all the names. Like, real, I haven't even ran a single name yet. Real, real quick, X, is this just a, uh, like, a passion project for you? Or do you intend to sell this service? I sell multiple services, but <laughs> this is not one of them. Okay. Wait, hold on. What services do you sell, X? <laughs> what can I purchase from you, boss? Do you want me to actually like list all of them? Yeah, I mean, sure. yeah I, I genuinely want you to, yeah. What do you sell? Yeah, you should have access to the chat if you don't want to say them all out loud. <laughs> X? He's typing. Oh, he's typing? Hitch, yo, Davis and Blake, what, do you, what are your initial thoughts right now? I mean, where's your head at? Um, uh, about I, what? <laughs> about what? What, 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 what exactly? <laughs> About what this? the fuck? Okay, Wait, what up. is all this? What no way. So read him out, Tony, if you no, don't this mind. Guy, this guy is genuinely a genius, bro. Okay, guys, he sells permanent file deletion, fake IDs, fake CDL license, is that like a fake high school license? diploma, like forklift? fake yeah. transcript for colleges, fake pay stubs. So why is he coming on the... Oh, fake no. Jesus, pay man. stubs? Oh, Jesus. no wonder, bro. No wonder we're talking to fucking Optimus Prime here. <laughs> is that legal? That's what I'm talking about. I, d I, I doubt it, no. It's bro, all, you, all this shit is illegal. What do you mean? These are official documents he's fucking making. Of course it's illegal. Oh, Tommy, you're getting shut down, my brother. Whoa, what did I do? They, I was yeah, they never want here. I was never here. What the here. fuck did I do? Dude, I, I wasn't laugh, here laughs, Insert laughs and hidden. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, so we just... Uh, you know, I'm gonna call the police on that one. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. But we'll we'll move on from that. Okay. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's not really unless Ben, you have any more questions for this guy? No, I just care to see the tour when it goes live. And thank you for explaining. Uh, I mean, it's definitely what you do. I, I would love to see if there's any notable names on there. I mean, that's, I was absolutely. Uh, that's what everybody wants to know: is that is there a name that anybody recognizes on there? I understand. Getting rid of the rats in rank play, I get that, challenges but it's definitely all about right like. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, would, I, would I just want to know if there's any challenges. Yeah, there's there's a good amount of players and challengers I was suspicious of, and this is from January and on. So if they did this prior to January, it won't show. So if they did do it, like, Wait, like I, said, I got one, I got one name that I'm gonna put in the chat, but no, actually, never mind. No, I'm not. We can yes, run it right are. now. Do it. No, we can. We can literally gotta, run it right now. I gotta you. know, and this isn't for me. This is for one of my friends, but he gotta know. I gotta know about him. Oh my that god. Did. Wait, where is oh he? Did he play Vanguard Wait, that guy did, this that year, guy, That guy yeah. did play yeah, some on. Vanguard. Yeah, he yeah, played some Vanguard. Hold on, yeah, hold on. He's scanning it right now. He's okay, scanning it right now. I don't know. I don't know about the... I don't know about... Yeah, I know. That's the... That's the... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, dude. I that's would what be I'm talking about, both of you guys. That would be the funniest shit ever. Yo, honestly, run this one too while you're at it. Because he played Vanguard this year. Okay, no. No, trust me. That's not... Trust me, not that one. That one too big I mean, what's the point? If it doesn't show up, that means that if you're already at website, can clear my name too? I'm tired of the joke in my chat. Dude, this would be comedy. I kind of want to know about him too. Because what if y'all got the double, you know? Dude, okay, you know well, what I'm talking about? It will show anyone who made... It will show anyone with the... Like, if you make... Say, like, sensor, for example. Like, if you make an Activision ID sensor, it will show any sensor who used this cheating program from January to now on Vanguard. And it will use the yeah, Activision ID as well. Just, can yes. you, okay, so you so we can cross-reference their Activision IDs at some the point. Only, the only with issue that. with this that I foresee, just, just to, like, game plan this out, <laughs> is someone's going to get accused... It's got a very similar Activision ID, or they get false flag to an Activision ID that's like very close to them, maybe like numbers off, and then they've got to go out and prove it's not them by like. That proves it's not them, man. Well, to, yeah. well, it's not well to be fair, if it's Activision ID, like exact, like you could just hypothetically go back to the the tournament organizers and be like, oh, what was the Activision ID they used? They gave you. They probably have records of like some of this stuff, or like you know some sort of history with it. So I don't know, but either way, I mean, it's it's one fucking website. Oh, we, we just in a, in, a sea, a, uh, in a sea of them. So how long does it take to scan a name? Like what? Like for instance, hey, the first name you put in. You know what? What? It, like how long does it take? You know, like X. If you if you put in this name right now, how long is it gonna take you to get an answer? Five minutes at uh, most. Okay. Well, let's get started on that first name. Let's go down the list. Hey X, where are you from? 
<laughs> he's not gonna fucking not tell gonna you. That question, Tom. Give me a break. Realistically, I'm from Italy. What? Realistically, yo. That's not even me, bro. <laughs> oh what? No. I'm from Venice, Italy. Listen, I want to make things very clear. I have no idea who this guy is. No idea, okay? I just want to make that very clear. I'm not with this guy. I can uh, tell you everything about him, Tom, off stream. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, let's do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's the do first it. name everything? that was sent in the chat is 100%. What? Wait, what? Wait. 100%? Wait, is there? As in, they're not in there. Oh, they're not in there. Oh, oh they're good. Oh, 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 he's cleared. Okay. Yeah, but, but that's just this one. That's <laughs> Holy dude, shit. I didn't shit myself. No, I didn't. I thought he was 100%. 100%? The only scum. We got to have a new terminology. He is clear. Oh yeah, God. he's clear. <laughs> this, yo, search every CDL pro as well. Again, the only issue is that this is only from January and it's only on this one cheating oh, program. Oh, only from January, okay. From January and this one cheating program. That's the two biggest things. January, one cheating program, and Vanguard only. Those right. are the big things. Right. That Because there's other programs, obviously, where people could cheat, you know? Or like you got, download You got cheats. lucky, Zen. You got lucky, man. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um... <laughs> All right, well, I don't know if we should sit here and just wait for all these names. I mean, at, at this point, I mean, I, I feel like, Doug, you no, just I'll get start, your, don't you worry, get your I'll list. Send out, real quick, real yeah, quick. I, if, if they're confirmed, I'll send out some <laughs> tweets. I'm looking at your services that you sell. Did you meet Doug because he was trying to buy a fake high school diploma? <laughs> Sadly, no. Oh. Wait, Doug, wait, Doug, you didn't graduate high school? Uh, this is like a bad joke. Obviously, I graduated high school. I graduated in 3712 out of oh. 412, but All I graduated. Right. All right. I mean, I, my grades weren't good either. Don't get me wrong. Hey. <laughs> okay, listen. Let's not talk about any of that stuff on the stream because I just don't like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we should talk about that. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, days on the guys. That's a good point. I don't think it's, we should talk about that. And, um, yeah. you know... Uh, yeah, we just caught spawn kill without even like. There's a guy called Spawn Kill that was on that list right there with uh, what's his name? Uh, the the burner we made and Spawn Kill is apparently like some low tier dude, but he just got caught because of that. Wait, no, but hold on. What I was gonna say was reading that the spooked guy came up on the right side. Why didn't the Spawn Kill say NA next to his name? What happened? Like in the like the picture, it says Spawn Kill NA right next to his name. Like no, like not applicable. Oh. I don't know. I don't even know what okay. the fuck this shit means. You want to explain that, X? Because I, I know how to explain. Yeah, like it how do you read? How do you read that? Um, like how do you read it? Like how do you know they actually are like confirmed? Depending on the method of injection and the way they load Vanguard, sometimes the battle net cannot be parsed. So I just put NA. If so nothing that, can so, be fully so like parsed the middle, or read, the is, I will just put NA. Yeah, the so, middle is their battle net, Haggy. Yes. The left is their Activision. And okay. the right is their subscription status. Oh, so if it's if they have a subscription status on the right, then that's then they are in, like they they, they do it. Yes. Okay. Oh. Some of the members say refunded, and that is either because of a TOS disagreement or they were on console and they just wanted a refunded. Yo, they actually caught this man. His Activision matched. Yep. What the fuck? Like this is literally 4K, Chris. Like 4 no freaking K, bro. Uh, go to the go to the Twitter. Uh, Siski. S I Z K I E underscore. S I Z S I Z K I E underscore. Let's do a Mark Scott for me here. Okay. Siski. And then look at the look at the screenshot. Look at the screenshots. Both no. screenshots. Look at look at the bottom one. It shows a CMG. It shows his Activision ID. Okay, so this shows his Activision ID, spawn kill three two two, whatever. There's oh, a subscription. Christ. Then you scroll down, yeah. and there's the uh, there's his Activision ID. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's tough. <clears throat> he lost. Dude, that's man, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust, man. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Unfucking Can't wait believable. Can we see this tweet? So I think I think the goal is to expand this to warzone i think that's the biggest goal obviously on like a petty scale like we could literally look up any name and this this cheating website is very popular so there's probably a lot of people who did use it and there might i don't actually you would know more than me on what cheating websites are the most popular because obviously you're making these programs but this is a very popular one and i mean i'm sure a lot of players on vanguard rank definitely used this before i mean they got caught 4k uh one of them is that random dude i posted yesterday but there's a lot of people out there man and uh 
I'm definitely curious. We'll sit down for hours just searching up names and seeing what comes back up. But... Please, please, please. Yeah, that I, think is that, great... I think that's the only thing you can do is like you hey, scam a bunch yeah. of names and then, uh, you Wait, know. Wait, this spawn kill guy was playing $2 wagers and cheating. That is criminal. Yeah, that's robbery, bro. That's fucking robbery. That's, that, that's, 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 that's not acceptable. Nah, that is very that's, common. That that is that's, what, that's why we stopped doing <laughs> we, 3v3 content wait, for the last people, two years. People, people, people literally real. cheat on free rank play. No, no. People cheat in, in game battles, XP in, matches. No, XP. That's, that's why we cheat stop. in pubs. Yeah. They, they just do it for fun. Like, they just have, they find a joy in cheating. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. Wait, no, nah, wait. That's actually cheating for a McChicken, Joe. Well, that is insanity. <laughs> yeah, Joe o was over here shitting himself. He didn't know what the fuck was happening. Hey, no, look, we, we got... play multiplayer with Joe O. He ain't cheating. Hey, we got Feudas in the chat. Trust what's going me. on? Feudas, yeah, what's going on? 91% win rate on CMG. That yo, is high. Yo, Feudas, if we run the name, Feudas, if we run the name, how's it going to come out? How's it going to come out, Feudas? You you clear or what? Feudas, you clear or what, man? I don't know, but uh, that's interesting. Well, X. Wait, uh, think about how many people are actually shitting themselves right now because, like, they're actually. Kinda, no, what do you mean? Everyone's oh, if they use this website, their no, saying, if, they, if they use this website this year, they are fucked, and I will make sure of it. I will absolutely make sure of it, dude. Oh, like, they're 100 percent fucked. If Yo, they and they know who they are, crazy. some of them are in the stream right now. You know exactly who you are. You know I'm talking to you right now. You are fucked. <laughs> you are literally fucked. <laughs> Wait, you Doug, should be clutching Doug. your ass as we speak. Sweating. <laughs> Yo. Yep, because Doug's coming D with the penetration. <laughs> Doug, are, Doug, are you Yo. funding this project? We're about to get some injection. I didn't pay a dollar you know? towards this thing. Oh, okay. I was just asking. I didn't know. So this spawn kill guy, looking at his tweets, he says, when would be a good time to make a free agent tweet? I need help because I've never done this before. Jesus. Well, what the hell? And then scrolling through his replies, he says, uh, he, he's obviously trying to find a team. People have only seen me play Money 8s. Hopefully someone will take a chance on me, bro. So, so hypothetically, if this guy is cheating and that is, you know, completely 100% true, this guy was basically cheating to get noticed, to get an opportunity to kind of like get his name out there. That's actually fucking absurd, I mean, isn't that dude. what people think that people in challengers and potentially the league have done? No, I mean, I'm, I, I, so, so this is completely unrelated because it's not FPS, but even in this game that I play, um, you've probably heard me talk about it on the show. Like I mentioned it lost Ark or stuff like that. There's this mm -hmm. title that's very prestigious in the game that basically, um, people will get carried to the title that way they can f have a better time finding groups for like raids and stuff like that. So like, I, I like, I will, I will carry people through it for that reason. Like it's the same thing. Like essentially, they get a cheat to carry them through to get noticed, so that they have a better time yeah. finding teams. Like it's actually crazy that people do this stuff. I don't know. Yeah, man. Well, I'm looking forward to this list that Doug is gonna compile. Yeah, I would yeah. love. I just want one notable. Oh, yeah, if you get, like, if no, you hook a juicy one, then yeah, no that, offense that'll to my be... man spawn kill, but like I don't know who the fuck that is. And so, like, I'm ready. I'm ready for like a a meaty a meaty guy. You know what I mean? The key is to trust and verify prior to doing that, right? Like, so that's why we literally made the burner and did the, the cheats itself to make sure this is actually 100%. Like, we literally, I watched him make the burner. Like, I cut that video up, but I was there the entire 15 minutes. He. You kind of got to hurry up now, right? In case this uh, website does something on their end to like stop you from looking, right? Right. That's, that's what next. I was thinking. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. what's happening. Okay. okay. Well, Doug, you better pull an all nighter. All right, let's get to it, X. You ready? Yeah. Jesus, yeah. man. Dude, I could do just I, I could I can literally picture it. Doug calling X on Discord right now and Doug getting some comfy clothes on. Right. Of, All I know of, is this shit's lead, bro. Everyone's changing their Activision IDs immediately. And then X goes, here comes the penetration, and they start injecting and shit. What? <laughs> what? <sighs> what? What? That's huh? the lingo they've been using, injecting and penetration. So I said that they're <laughs> gonna start injecting and penetrating and fucking Figured it out. Uh, okay. You okay, know, next we could do yeah. this live on stream. We uh, could just no. search up a bunch no, of names. Um, I, no, I, yeah, I don't know. Not... Why don't you <laughs> no, search not, up the not names? Tommy's stream. Not yeah, why, Tommy's why don't y'all search up the names off stream? And then you know, if you get some hits, you bring them back to the live stream. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, you know. I mean, it's kind of too late now, but I wish you guys would have like. I mean, why not? If their names pop up, y'all should have had the cheating. list. Y'all should have had the list prepared because now they could. There's potential that they could shut shut this shit down, right? Yeah, don't like, worry, they're on it. Real, real quick, oh, yeah. real quick. Ben might have asked this earlier. I'm not sure because I was I was too busy laughing at the voice changer when he first came in. Um, if you have access to the databases, there's no way you could just download the entire thing instead of having to search manually one by one. 
the reason why this searching occurs is because they have a security risk. So what they do is every single time something is concatenated or indexed, a new cipher happens and everything is basically re-obfuscated. That's why everything has to be decompiled or string split or just anything to find given hexadecimal values or some, hex data. Some of this it's terminology it's is insane. It's almost like it's almost like you're going in to like you're opening a drawer or like you're you're like lock picking a drawer and then you're closing it back, locking it, and then having to lock pick it again, but the lock changes a little bit or something like that, right? Ben, That's why you exactly what it is. Yeah. Ben, why are you That's looking nervous, what Ben? What's up? Why you look nervous? I'm smart. I'm smart. Why do I look nervous? How yeah. am I nervous? You think Final Cut Men's no, gonna I'm, get caught? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just can, well, no, I'm not pulling up in there for sure, bro. But like, I don't be downloading cheats. But my my question is like, <laughs> why I'm confused is like, if they have all this like fairly sensitive information, like why are they not like doing more secure encryption that would be like incredibly difficult to break? This is incredibly difficult to break, and it took multiple days to do it. Jesus along with man. a little bit of help like i'm making it sound super easy but it was incredibly hard like a lot of people say that ricochet is completely shit i will put my whole bank account balance that you guys probably can't penetrate it all the injections for cheats happen before the game and the driver loads none of these cheats actually inject when ricochet is up and running same thing with all other anti-cheats oh so shout out activision is what you're saying yeah, like basically they did do a good job. Oh, it's yeah. just that for user hey, privacy. I mean, that's good to know. Whack and to stop, and to, to stop being intrusive, they don't have their anti-cheat load on boot. For instance, Valorant has their anti-cheat load on boot, but the way cheat providers get around it is they simply have a kernel level driver of their own that loads before Valorant. So again, none of these cheats ever inject when the anti-cheat is running. Sheesh. Yeah, interesting. Well, listen, X, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck in whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, thank you for coming on. Thank you for sharing. And hopefully you guys can get that list to us and we'll revisit, you know, when we get a list. Um, but thank I appreciate you. Love to help out. User yes, disconnected from oh, he's YouTube. out. Okay, dude. Uh, uh, Doug, that's scary. Uh, yeah, that guy scares me, bro. Yeah, listen, no, I just want to say I don't condone no, any of that shit. X, if you're watching this on the rebroadcast or something, bro, I, I just was laughing because it was because of the, the voice, voice changer. changer. Yeah, me like, too. Like, please, I'm good. Like, we're cool, and I appreciate what you're doing. Please, mm -hmm. like, I, I yeah, got God no speed. Problem. That's what I. That's God what I speed. asked him the first time. I was like, could you just change the voice changer? Bro, I don't want no problems. I promise mm -hmm. you. I appreciate what you're doing. I was just laughing because I was. That's the strangest thing oh, I've ever yeah, been part no, of. Oh, yeah, no, the voice changer was fucking comedy, bro. I couldn't oh, stop laughing. Nah, there's going to be a clip out there of me hyena laughing <laughs> when he first comes oh, on. Dude, dude and with, I'm Z so with sorry. Zingos, my God. No, no me and Hitch too. full on bro, had a, he, we're in math class, he hyena goes, laughing. He goes, all right, I just want to say. And then, and, <laughs> and then, and then uh, Zen goes, Oh my god. And then I <laughs> lost it. Bro, I lost it. Bro, I was full when we all started like talking over each other and he started talking over us with his fucking robot voice. I said, oh, I've my never own. heard the word hexadecimal though, so I hope they find it. No, somebody. whatever he just said, injection, penetration, obfuscated, uh Yeah. dude, uh, he he pulled a lot of terminology out of the hat. I heard I've never kernel heard level before. before though. So, you know, good shit. Yo, good shit, Doug. You got yeah, to go, go crazy. He, he you got to shoot a lot of stuff. I, again, the reason I asked the like source code question is because like you could obviously make this all presentable and look cool when you like enter lines in the program. But actually knowing that it's doing stuff in the back end to actually do the things that he's claiming is like very important. So open sourcing <laughs> it would be super key. Otherwise, it's just going to be witch hunt BS yeah. and people are going to be accused and shifts are going to be faked. and It's going to be a whole nother fucking thing we don't want. So. I mean, yeah, I agree with what you're saying, Ben. This guy is truly, like, one of the most remarkable people I've met, to be honest. Like, that's why I trust him, because I, I just know he's smart as, smart as fuck, dude. This guy is one of the smartest people I've ever met. And if I, I, I told you more about him, but I'm not going to, because, like, he doesn't want me to, but, like, y you'd be mind-blown, honestly. <laughs> this guy's smart as hell, dude. He seems like a smart guy. I mean, yeah. anybody who knows all this shit's got to be pretty smart. I had no—he was speaking another fucking language. Really I didn't know it, dude. I, I didn't know what, the, what was going on. But well, I, I, under, I understood what he was saying, I and mean, he was saying a lot of— Weird words put together, and like they just kind of there's a lot of stuff. We Bro, the voice changer just made him so like, much oh, harder to, to understand. Like if he just would have not just had yeah, any normal voice changer, they don't hard to take seriously for sure. But um, I mean, I would be surprised, for example, if these hacking websites <laughs> like 
backend databases aren't the most secure. There's, there's more to it, Ben. There's more to it that I'm not going to say right now. Most secure for a number of reasons, but that's why the source code thing is important because there could be some shenanigans going on here. <sighs> yeah, right, someone well, in the chat said, look up Slayer. I ain't even played Vanguard since January 1st. Uh, Pat, so. there's like six eggs on the list. I'm pretty sure uh, one of them. Wait, dead ass? 6672. Is that the last four of your Activision, Pat? Yo, what the fuck, Pat? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> I didn't play Vanguard. No way, dude. Oh, man. But, um, well, that was eventful. Yeah, so we'll we'll leave it at that. And then, I mean, there's really nothing else to talk about other than this. I just want to give a shout out to Formal and the Optic Boys. I think this is pretty fucking typical that Formal went back to Halo. Um, and they made the event look pretty easy, to be honest with you. They they look pretty comfortable. So just want to give a uh, shout out to Formal. I feel like he was a big part of the COD community. And I feel like it was pretty impressive what he did and what the whole team did. So congratulations to Halo, man. Yeah, shout out to Halo. Shout out to the whole also, Halo. The Halo event was just fun to watch, to be honest. It was, it was really fun to watch. Also, some important shit, man. Uh, prayers up for Jukies, man. Uh, yeah, 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 prayers Warzone, up, man. Warzone Absolutely. player. Yeah. Prayers up to him, and, and also think of Ant and uh, he had his a, family while they go through their Apparently he tweeted time. that he had like an asthma attack and then went into an induced coma. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. his heart stopped and, and everything. Um, but apparently he's responding to the medication well. Which is what I think they said, really which is good. good. So just prayers out to to Jukies, man. We we hope uh, you know he'll wish him the best. Yeah, he'll wish him the best, man. He'll he'll be back stronger than ever, man. Just uh, you know, get those prayers out for him. We love him, man. Um, but yeah, no, I think uh, I think we had a pretty good show. Davis and uh, Blake and Doug, thank you guys for coming on. I appreciate yeah, you thanks, guys, bro. That was thank a, you guys so much. You guys, uh, you guys gonna stay live? Cause I'll send them over to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, sounds good. We'll, we'll take them. We'll um, but hey guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, I think we're gonna try and run a tier list episode sometime during the week, so stay tuned for that. Um, and we'll we'll rank some of these teams and we'll give our thoughts and we'll do a tier list. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Today was a long one, so um, I appreciate everybody who tuned in and watched. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Anchor.fm Flank to check out all the audio sets around and go follow at the Flank on Twitter. Gersh doing a phenomenal job running socials, so make sure to go show some love over there. Um, and as always, man, just take care, brush your hair, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode of The Flank, man. Peace out. Have a good night. Bro, that spawn kill guy got banned on CMG. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> we gotta be careful with this shit. We got this guy banned immediately. <laughs> Wait, already?